Hi, I'm Gary. And I'm Kate. And we like to play shit. And we like to play Fall Guys. We also like to chat with shit. We also like to chat with no. We also like to chat with cool and interesting people. So we thought, why not do balls? So we thought, why not do both at the same time? No, no, no. This, this is, is Talk Guys, guys. Ultimate, Ultimate Chatting. chatting. And we're here. We are here. Hello, we're here. Kate. Hello, Gary. Uh, if How you are, are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very well. Good. It's nice. It's nice to see you. I can actually see. We've got this little glow up now with this dual camera setup. We can see each I other. No, there's two of us now. Before there this. was only I, just the two one. Two of us. Um, we can make it if we try. I'm very musical because we have a musical guest tonight. I was you about know. to say. Well, first of all, let us introduce ourselves. Uh, if you're tuning in for the very first time, my name is Kate Stark. One of your Talk Guys hosts, our other Talk Guys host. Yes. Um, and we have a very special guest tonight joining us for some Fall Guys. Uh, please welcome. Uh, we're very lucky to have him. What a, what a treat this is. The, the, the wonderful, the talented Mark Hoppus of Blink-182. Hello. 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 How are you, sir? Great. How are you tonight? Doing Great. so we're well. Ready to win Ready to win some crowns. Mm -hmm. Let's get some crowns. And do some and do some chit chat. And uh, well, like I said, the whole, for people who might just be, we're up, we are on the Twitch front page tonight. So we probably have a few first time viewers. For those who are not familiar with the concept of the show, such as it is, uh, we attempt to play Fall Guys while also conducting an interview with our celebrity guest. And those two things are not really compatible with, with one another. And hilarity, uh, uh, no doubt, will uh ensue but um okay should we should we just jump into it and play some fall guys yeah let's do it let's do it uh let me get my uh my sound up here so people can hear us oh i need to do um, something oh jeez uh kate is of course uh kate stark tv uh we're playing on the playstation tonight so you can actually see our real names for once i know it's um, nuts kate is kate stark tv uh i am pink dog sf um pink dog of course, sf so that's actually my daughter so here's the thing i'm already maxed out i maxed level my character on uh, PlayStation because I've been playing more on PlayStation than I have on PC. And so now that I'm maxed out, I'm actually playing on my daughter's account tonight because I can level up her character and get her some, you know, points and stuff. Oh, cool. And this is yeah. my second or third ever round on PlayStation, <laughs> which is why is I have nothing. Looks <laughs> like she has a naked little bean. Yeah. <laughs> when do I dive? I don't, I still don't understand when I'm supposed to dive. Oh. Oh, Mark, oh, we, we can we can, we can, we can work through this with you. An expert okay. crash course in Fall Guys. Uh, as you can see, we have our crown counters up on the screen as well now. Uh, 17 crowns for me. 41 for Kate, who actually competed and won real cash money uh, in Twitch Rivals today. Kate, you, how did you do in that tournament? Actually, pretty good. We came out of 20 teams. We came eighth. We walked away with 2,500 US dollars, which for a Canadian is like... Ten thousand dollars, basically. Right, it's like a million Canadian dollars. Yeah, we're owning. <laughs> um, and we, out of six rounds, we got four crowns. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good. Today is already a multi-crown day. I've already played for five hours, took a quick break, and now we're back. Mark, how would you how would you rate your own proficiency at this game so far? I'm the best that's ever been. I'm the best that's <laughs> ever picked up a controller <laughs> on this game. If I don't crown. Round one, it'll be a travesty of justice. Mark, okay, a follow-up question, follow-up question. Yeah. How many crowns do you have in this game? Indeed, that, that's, the, that's the next question for sure. At, well, let's see, at this point, none. Okay, cool, right. cool, cool, cool. So, <laughs> the only way is up. The only way is up. You no, literally can't lose. There's one level that I can never get past at all, so okay. we'll see how that goes. Question, let's get into it. is it Whirly Gig? It's not that one. Because I was watching you play the other day. I was doing some covert like spying to see if uh -huh. you were doing well. And yeah, you're right. You don't you don't do the dive part so well. I, I, I don't know when to do it. And I, I'm watching my yeah. Twitch stream and people are saying don't dive and other people are saying you have to dive. I don't know how I'm gonna get past this. We're, okay, look, we're we got here a nice for you. easy we one can to coach start you. off with. Kate okay. has been conducting her due diligence. She's been doing uh, sneaky recon on your streams to get a, kind of get a sense of where your strengths and weaknesses are. I have. Oh, I forgot to turn the bloom down, and it's so weird looking. This game on a different console. Oh yeah. Yeah, I need What's to. What's a bloom? Bloom is just, just like that like glow, like artificial glow effect. A little fuzzy, oh. almost. Yeah. 
Uh, we already have a first question from the chat. Is Mark just playing in his underwear or indeed anything at all? Uh, I am. It's a bit, a bit personal for a first question, <laughs> but I'll take it. I understand it because, you know, Blink has this reputation of always playing naked and we've... Ah! Uh. Like that whole thing. Uh, which, uh, right now I am wearing a brand new t-shirt because mm -hmm. I, I thought that we were going to be able to do the team stream or whatever it was called. Squad, squad right? Uh, Kirby Squeak Squad thing. Yeah, that's it. Um, and so I put on a brand new clean t-shirt, but I am in the same shorts that I've been wearing for the past two days. As someone well, who- I mean, aren't, aren't we all? As someone yeah, who did I, just FaceTime you, I'm actually quite glad that you were wearing clothes. So thank you for that. <laughs> So, um, all right, so Dizzy Heights, not a nice, easy uh, starter level. Shouldn't be yeah, too, like, no, you, I, I, you would think so. Yeah. Okay, we do so, have a rule around here, Mark, that if, if one of us fails to qualify out of the first level, we all quit and start over. So it's okay, not, well, so get it's ready to, to quit. Oh, just a lot? <laughs> Hold on, where are you? Me? Are you struggling Okay, already? no, I, I see him. I see him. I'm, no, I'm, I'm on my way, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm no, going to No, 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 I think, I think you're, you come, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Look at you. You're right here. Oh yeah, no, no danger. Easy right. qual. We call that an easy qual around here. Mark. Okay, and dive, dive is square. Is that the yes? Is yes. That correct. Yes. There are there are some situations where that button is is absolutely mandatory. You're gonna have to dive in certain situations. Correct. Okay. Um. You you always do like the performative dive over the finish line, you know, just for style points. Right. But there are times when it will actually save you save your bacon. Do you have a favorite level in Fall Guys? I like the one where you have to run through the run through the gates and just hope that they don't door dash yeah. or, or gate crash. I, I, I get the names confused every single yeah, time. Yeah, they're both, I mean, they're, the names are kind of interchangeable. All right. Well, here's Whirly Gig. This one, this, this, one? this, this is this one is... where a dive definitely comes in handy late in the where? world. Where, where, where? Uh, the, 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 oh, final the final jump, jump onto jump. the final platform. Uh, you'll, you'll know it when you get to it. Just f okay. fo follow, follow me. We, uh, we got you. Yeah, just yeah, stick stick with us. You 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 with you with seasoned pros here. Do you have uh, a 60, 60 crowns between us? Do you have a least favorite level? Jeez, my least favorite level is the. <laughs> oh shit! But... Talk about being the pros. <laughs> ah! By the way, I just got whipped like five times, and I'm in third place or something. Yeah, yeah, you're what good. Is, uh, oh my you god, and, you're way you far Mark ahead of us. Mark are both naked pink beans, right? Oh yeah, he's up there. No, Mark. No, I'm a werewolf bean. Oh, I can't get with the werewolf. Okay. Yeah, remember. Does that mean you're a griefer because all wolves are griefers. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. Go Mark, someone? yeah, yeah, jump up there. Perfect. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> you you're guys. you're ahead of me right now because I was trying to hold back and coach you, but now I'm in Thank trouble. You. Thank you. Now, do I dive at this guy? Um, go. No, I say go to the, the right. End. No, no, go to the right hand side. Okay. Don't go down. No, never go down that middle path unless you're. No, like no, we're not. We're not where you think we are, Gary. We're not. Oh, we're okay. not where we think we are. Where are you right now? Further back. back. Okay. I'm way back. Don't worry. We're doing okay. Okay. Are you still behind me? Yes. Oh, you're terrible. Oh my God. No, I'm actually quite good. I think she's hanging back to try and help you out. Oh. Crying out loud. How are you guys okay. doing over there? Okay, I'm Mark. This I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait at the finish this line is here. where you want to dive over this last jump here. Yeah, this here. final one. You need a dive <laughs> to make it. Oh, someone just got yeeted. That was, was that Mark. Mark. That was me. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't. I can't waste. Can't waste time here. Sorry. Yeah, you can. Oh, I'm gonna get disqualified. Oh, oh. No, yeah, you're that, not gonna make see, it. That's where you need to dive. That's the dive. Okay. Cool. That's the dive. So you want to do a running jump, a dive, on when the fan times it. We have some Mark good. Hoppers fans in the chat already. My good friend Andy Cortez says, this is wild. I spiked my hair, bought Dickie's shorts and Hurley shirts because of Mark Hoppers in high school. Awesome. Mark, are you, are you aware that you've been such a fashion influence on, on so many uh, young, young people out there? I see it, but I don't know if it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, what's going on with your hair these days? Okay, here's, what, here's the deal. I had a great, <laughs> I had an amazing haircut going into quarantine. Uh-huh. I haven't gotten cut since, except my wife just keeps shaving the sides of my head. So the sides of my head are really nice and clean and tidy, and the top of my head is a catastrophe. I'm going full Robert Smith during the quarantine. It's it's something. It is. And my wife so, keeps saying, you really need to get that cut. Please, can I call our guy and have him come to the house? And I keep saying no. You're just kind of have vibing you, have with you it. Have you considered uh, letting your wife cut your hair or doing, you know, a lot of people are kind of doing these homebrew haircuts these days. Well, that's days. what yeah. he was just saying is she's doing the sides, but right. just not the top. You're just kind of letting it go. Not the whole thing. Exactly. And you, you actually. Know, I, just I, I just shaved my head. I went totally bald. I gave up. 
You wrote a song. Oh, I just and got griefed. I just got griefed. You wrote oh, a grief. song recently. So someone just Never tried mind. to grab me to prevent me from jumping over the bar. Oh, for oh, real? So griefing yeah. is like grabbing or like pushing people yeah, off the side. Griefing is when you actively try to sabotage another player, like pushing them Understood. off or blocking them in some way, just generally making life hard for other players. Gary, You're going to see a lot of that. You ruined my wonderful segue asking about Mark's Sorry. new single called Quarantine, which was released last month. Uh, oh, well, oh, you know what? I, I paid the price for it. I'm in the slime. And I forgot to spectate. God damn it. I quit out. I, I rage quit out immediately. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> still in it, so I'm going to keep playing. Okay, I'm going to watch Kate's stream. God damn it. Mark, tell us about your you. new song. We have a song called Quarantine that we wrote in quarantine, and I actually recorded uh, here in my studio where I am talking to you from right now. And Travis did it in his studio, and we worked with a guy named Brian Lee who plays guitar in Post Malone's band. Oh, cool. And uh, Matt, our regular guitarist, does not have the capacity to record at home. So we recorded it during quarantine, and it's about how angry we are at the world that we're in this position. I feel that. And actually, you I guys- I don't like it. No, I don't like it either. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm this part of it is pretty cool um, because we've been doing these talk shows. So we've been getting to game with some pretty awesome people. Um, but that's like the only highlight. Yeah, so that, that's 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 a very small. So the tiniest silver lining. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I'm 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 ready for it to be. I'm ready for, ready for it to be done. I think everyone I, is. A I friend of mine. A too. Not without naming without naming any names. A friend of mine is in a phase three vaccine trial at Pfizer, and apparently it's very promising. That's oh, very that's exciting. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Mark so should I buy stock in Pfizer? Yes. I mean. <laughs> I, you know, I get why. I mean, I think probably a lot of people are doing that right now and they're just like they're spreading their bets in the hope that someone will hit the jackpot on it, you know? Because right. everyone's at it. Like, all the, like, this is pretty much what every major drug company is, is doing right now. This right. is one of the levels you're going to want to dive on sometimes, by the way. What are you, where, you are, where, where are you right now? Kate? I'm the plain pink jelly bean. I'm playing as her. Like, I'm watching, I'm spectating as you, but I'm pushing the buttons. Good. I failed, I failed to spectate, so I don't even know what level oh, you're Oh, I'm playing Block your, Party right now. I'm going to go to your, I'm gonna go to your uh, channel. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I see you on Block Party. Fuck this level. This level gets me, like, with one second on the clock every time. Yeah, you don't like I'm this one. I'm not a fan. I'm really not, I'm really not a fan. It's okay. So somebody was telling me that people can cheat on Fall Guy? Yeah, on PC, it's pretty on bad. PC. You can hack really quite badly. Um, but they're implementing, like anti-cheat that games like Fortnite and stuff have, and they banned like okay. 1,500 accounts the other day. On a previous right. uh, episode, we actually interviewed the lead designer and some people from the, the dev team, and they, they, oh. they mentioned that it's their number one priority right now is getting rid of the cheaters, because it. Like, it actively stops people from wanting to play the game. Like that's, it's an existential threat to their game that they have to, you know, it's, it's their, top, their top priority right now. This right. server is completely fucked. Yeah, was, the, you, you were like the, walking through wooden barricades. Yeah, no, that part was fine, but there was the server. Yeah, something happened with the server that was not a good scene there. Do you guys ever play Fortnite? I I'm have. Not a Fortnite player, but Kate is. No, I'm. Beat... I'm not. I've played it like twice. I beat <laughs> Fortnite in two tries. You're a gamer. What does that mean? Yeah. You beat it. He won. Like I, I won. Got a victory so royale. I never oh, okay. played. I never played Fortnite ever. And then the other week, I think it was last week, I logged in downloaded it i was like i'm gonna play this game and just get my ass handed to me i played the first time i got second place the second time i got first place and then i just spiked my controller burned my uh burned my ps4 now i'm walking away from the game so when are you going pro i'm never because i i can't get any better than i did my second no, try he's right he's right because you, you got a george costanza out of the room like you know you, uh you, you this is very bad head. So here, so here's Kate. Yeah, this in is the, in the final round. I can't do ahead. anything. The servers, no, the servers completely lagged. Oh, the server is fucked. What's going on? I can't, on? I can't do anything. Oh shit! I don't actually know who's where. I don't know where the balls are. I'm just running. What is going on? The I servers. I can't even see you running. To me, everybody's still back at the starting line. Yeah, the servers completely hooped. What the fuck is going on tonight? The they're still sucked. having a lot of. They're still having a lot of problems server side on this game. They're I'm just really hoping I can. <laughs> Like, I mean, you can still get a crown. I mean, there's no one else up that can. I mean, maybe you get But there, it. there are people here. Oh, that's the thing. The crown's See, look. not even moving though. The crown's not I even know. going up and down. I don't, I, I don't think you can get it. No, I can't. obviously I can't. I've been disconnected from the server. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was fun. 
Can, I want to call that a crown because, like, I had it. You have an asterisk yeah. next to it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's an asterisk on that one. Are you a big gamer in general, Mark? Uh, I played Nintendo games forever and ever, and I. My son, when we when he was growing up, we used to play games together. We would play uh, Twilight Princess, and we would play uh, Paper Mario and things like that. And then when Breath of the Wild came out, I was into that. And I didn't have a PS4 until quarantine hit, and then I started playing The Last of Us, the first one. Uh -huh. And then I just got, and then it, my life is destroyed now. I was gonna say I saw you tweeting about you. platting in Ghost of Tsushima. I did, I did. I platinum Ghost of Tsushima, and I love that game. And I'm playing the Uncharted series. I just finished Uncharted One, and I'm in the oh, Uncharted Two now. So good. Come on, hit uh, X whenever you're ready. Oh, sorry, my bad. You're good. Uh, and I, and I got the Tony Hawk video games. So good. Uh, I just beat both of them. Those. I just beat one and two last weekend. My kid is loving them. She's eight, and she's Wait, doing they, all kinds of Wait, they only came out like last Friday. Yeah, I beat them on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, play with very serious people right now, Mark. I serious guess so. gamers. Also, and, no, go ahead. So I started off quarantine playing Animal Crossing, like, you know, 10 hours a day or something. Yep. And then I got my PS4, and now six months into quarantine, I'm going to build a, uh, a PC. So oh, nice. Very I've proud of you. Way. That's really Are neat. Are you going to need any uh, help doing that, or do you have the, the chops to build your own PC? I have zero chops. My, my chops <laughs> are not there. So, so what I are you going to do? Are you going to fly parachute some uh, some experts in to help you? My, some of my very good friends are totally into it, so they are guiding me and telling me what to get. Apparently, there's some graphics card that comes out on Thursday, like the oh, 3080. Yeah, the, the, yeah, like that. yeah, that's the one you want, for sure. It's the best money can get. But uh, I mean, there's I the 3090 if you want to be utterly ridiculous. Well, but yeah, that's... but that, yeah, well, that new series. Yeah, I have to have yeah. the best of whatever it is. Well, that would be the 3090. Okay. I mean, but you're going to have to build your whole PC around that because like the power requirements and just the physical size of the card, like that's, that's, that's going to be the dominant factor in, in how you build your PC is, is accommodating that monster you, of a can card. I, can I tell you something? Yeah. We sold 60 million records. I'm getting the damn card. <laughs> yeah, dude, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You might as well. Live your best life. You've earned it. That's funny. Mark, we actually saw you perform. Uh, at TwitchCon last year, at um, oh, yeah. at at, uh, at the baseball uh, stadium. Yeah, that was so fun. That was super that was fun. Awesome. And I knew you were a gamer because you gave Goose Game a shout out. Oh, I love Goose Game. That Goose, was so rad. Goose Game is a wonderful, wonderful. That game. was the game everyone was talking about at TwitchCon last year, and you gave it a shout out. I thought that was uh, cool. Yeah, I was playing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you not qualify? I got, I got eliminated. What? Well, because Mark is so fascinating. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm me. listening to him talking about when it. I'm still qualifying. Yeah, I know, but I was carrying that part of the interview. Let's be fair. Oh my god. You were. You totally were. But oh my the god. funny thing is, I had such a fun time at TwitchCon, and I actually like went to the convention during the day and walked around and saw all the booths and was really excited about stuff. And the crowd was really awesome that night. Mm -hmm. And I. And it was right when there was that whole controversy between like Mixer was coming out and Ninja left to go to Mixer and blah, blah. And so yeah. people were talking yeah. about it. And so am I allowed to curse on the stream? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we encourage it. Okay, so as a joke, like halfway during the during the show, I go, hey, fuck Mixer. I remember and that. Everyone cheered, and everyone cheered. It was, I mean, it was just silly. I guess, it, I guess it worked. Yeah. <laughs> but then... But then, like, people were calling me a few days later going, yo, Ninja's really bummed on you, and he said on his thing that you're toxic and you're bad for the, you're bad for oh. the video game community. Oh, shit. Come on. Are, you like, a ninja, are you a Ninja beefing? Are you beefing right now? Well, I don't, I think he's mad at me because he didn't beat uh, Fortnite in two tries like I did. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You got some slick. Man, we got so, so many musicians come on this show and diss Ninja. T-Pain told This is the second time. Smoke. This is actually yeah. the second time. What's going on oh. with that? Somebody tried to push me off the tile. I'm t that's uh, welcome to griefing, griefing, my friend. That's griefing. Oh, that son of a bitch. <laughs> um. Oh shit! I just realized I'm not paying attention. Uh, I'm not okay. paying attention at all. I all just right. follow where everybody else goes. Yeah, I kind of do yeah, the same that, thing. That, that's always your plan. That's always the plan, B. Until just someone griefs you. Uh, I think it's on right. me. I think it's on me. I could be wrong. Oh, we're okay. We're both right. You got, you got it. You got it. I'm that in. drops a few here. people. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta say, this dual camera setup is great. We should have had this from the start. You've been saying that to me for the last four days. Are you in the same room? No, we're in different countries. What, what, is, what does dual camera setup mean? Oh, we have two, well, means, two cameras on it, our stream. So it means that... that no matter what stream you're watching, you can see both me and Kate's Oh, oh right, right, right. Setup. The thing we tried to figure out. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. 
Did you make it? I made you it. did. Just stay on. Stay I on. Did. Stay on. Nice, okay. Nice. Nice. Um, Mark, you were talking about how you've been a gamer for a long time, and you specifically brought up Animal Crossing at the beginning yeah. of quarantine. So the other night on your stream, I think it was last night, maybe you streamed a commentary of a documentary that MTV made about you in 2003 called uh, yeah. Album Launch. Yes. For your album launch, uh, which I think it was just self-titled. Untitled. Untitled. But there's, there's a controversy about that, but I call it the untitled. Okay, so untitled album launch. In that documentary, it actually shows you playing Animal Crossing. That's right. Uh, in can the I background. How, what would that have been on, like the GameCube or something? Yeah, it was a GameCube. Yeah. Can I tell wow. you how rad my mom is? My yes. mom stood in line and got me my GameCube and Animal Crossing for, uh, I think it was Christmas one year. She wow. stood in line and got me the Wii when the Wii came out. And she stood in line and got me this, uh, not the Switch, but uh, but she stood in line for something else as well. Like all my video game radness comes from her. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Can are you the only one still in the game? No, Mark's point? in too. No, no, I'm trying to sir. find him. Where is he? Oh, I see no, him, I see him. I'm getting, right, I'm you. getting so fucked right now. I'm right behind her. Oh God, yeah. Now, if there's, if there's a trick on this one, Mark, it's generally to kind of hug the sides rather than try to stay oh. in the middle. Okay. You'll avoid you'll avoid those rolling logs. <gasps> I've never I've never played this level before. I don't think this level there's no sucks. Way there's no way I'm qualifying. There's zero. You, no, chance. no. You like, if you stay clear of this last couple of bits of fruit. No, 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 no. There's four. No, yeah, you won't you won't make it now. That jerk at the front is you, just gonna mock me. That yep. pineapple guy. Honestly, yep. if that was your first time playing though, you did good. I'm okay. st I'm still in it. I just got a trophy called Flawless Victory. What does that mean? I don't know. But because oh, yeah, I've never played on PS4, I keep getting all oh, yeah. the trophies, yeah. You're gonna get a lot of basic trophies now because you're back to being basic on PlayStation. I am. It feels weird not to have all my cool uh, skins. Well, you gotta start racking them up. Yeah. All right, so you Come said- on, you, So go ahead, Kate. I was just, you said you've been a video game fan. You've played Animal Crossing. Your mom got yep. you all the consoles. Do yep. you have an all time favorite video game? Oh man, all time. You know what? I'm gonna say The Last of Us Part Two is my favorite video game of all time. Really? That's yeah. a strong statement. That is. I know. Relative, that is. Relatively recent. Very recent. I know, and it's controversial and the whole thing. But I, I loved every second of playing that game. I thought I loved the story. I loved the graphics. I loved the world building. I thought it was so well done. I had like there were times when I, you know, when you go see a really good movie and you kind of leave your body for a second, you're like, oh yeah. my god, this is a really great movie. That's how I felt about that game. It totally sucked me in. Loved every second of it. Best video game of all time, in my opinion. I mean, it's definitely going to be be in the game of the year conversation at the end of the year for sure. Oh, oh, yeah. oh! This is bad. That is bad. You're going to want that ball. We're going to want we this had ball. An we had an episode of um, uh, Animal Talking just recently where we had. Um, Ellie, Abby, and Dina were all on the show together. It was kind of a Last of Us oh. cast reunion. It was cool. Yeah, me and Dina are friends on Twitter. We're friends on. We're oh, friends Shannon, with her, yeah. Shannon. She, she's yeah, a good. She's, she's a good friend of the show. Yeah, we play Fall Guys with her a lot. Oh, okay, cool. Um, you also did a cover of one of your songs in in the game, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Yes, I covered. Uh, damn it in the game while, while oh, I was Oh, because you can it. play the guitar, right? Yeah. yeah, you have to play the That's guitar cool. as part of the thing. And I was like, wait, I can play one of our songs. But the embarrassing thing was, we haven't played that song live, obviously, in at least six months. So I forgot the words halfway through. I'm like, wait, what's the next line? And it was actually <laughs> the people in the Twitch stream that are like, uh, this is the next line. Oh, my God. It's nice to have him back. Nice to have him backing you up. All right, Kate, in another uh, Fall Mountain, hopefully uh, this one will not bug out. And she's got to shut her crown here. Yeah, let's is go. Is this the final round? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Mark, I've been doing this all day. <laughs> You're really good at this game. We generally make final rounds around here. The crown isn't moving again. Isn't it? Hope, is it going to be I hope it again? Work no, again. It, no, it oh, is. It okay, is, Kate. Okay, okay, good. I hope it doesn't work for you. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Come on Mark, now. How did you, Mark, how did you first get into music? Uh. Oh. Growing up, my parents listened to a lot of really great music. Oh, everything fuck. from Neil Diamond to Elton John to Donna Summer to right. speaking my language with all of these with all of these influences. So uh, for me. Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Islands in the Stream and Barry Manilow, like all these real like oh, poppy, yeah, you know, poppy great artists. And I think I just was drawn to melody and strong hooks and things like that. 
And then when I started listening to music on my own, I was listening to, I really got into The Cure in my high school years. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Like, like really into The Cure, a lot. Um, and then The Cure led me to punk rock and that's how I got into, into music really. What did you, um, and so, how do you, how do you make that leap from like being into music like as a consumer as a as a listener as a fan of music to want you know, experimenting with making your own? So I wanted to, I decided that I wanted to play the bass guitar, and I had no money. I was in tenth grade at the time, and so summer of my tenth grade year, my dad said, "If you paint the house, I'll buy you a bass guitar." So I painted my dad's house. He bought me a <laughs> bass guitar. And I started learning songs in my room, listening to music and listening to the Descendants and trying to figure out how to play Descendant songs and The Cure and Bad Religion and The Smiths and, and all kinds of different bands. And met some other guys that in the small town that I lived in. And we, we formed like this shitty garage band. And we tried writing our own songs, but they were pretty terrible. But if you just cover a lot of songs, you kind of start to learn how songs work and how music works and how different instruments play off of one another. And then when I moved to San Diego to go to college, I met Tom the first day that I was there and we started throwing ideas back and forth and immediately I, we started writing songs and it just kind of clicked. So you didn't have any formal education in music. You're all self-taught? I'm all self-taught. I have terrible technique. Uh, <laughs> can, you read, can you read sheet music? I can read tab, but I can't read sheet music. Okay. I think our server is busted. I think so. Man, can what we is, cancel? What is happening yeah. with the servers tonight? Yeah, we're going to go it's, again. It's fine. It's Here Friday night. Just re -ready. Everyone's playing. Quit to menu. Okay, yes. Okay, let's try yeah, this yeah. again. Let's try this again. There we go. It's not All about right, the games. Good. It's about the people. Exactly. It's, it's about, about the, the friendships about the, we're the making. It's about the quality chit chat. Exactly. The real fall guys are the friends we made along the way. Exactly. Was, right. there, was there a period early in your music career, Mark, where you were like just fucking terrible? Like early Wild Stallions kind of bad? Uh, like how I long mean, did it take you to get like in any way good? Because no one's brilliant like right out of the gate. Ah, probably I would say on Enema <laughs> the State is where I felt like we started playing well. I don't know. I, I feel like mid to late 90s was where I feel like I found my feet as a musician and singer. Okay. It takes a while. It takes a lot of practice. As someone who is that? terrible at music, I wouldn't know. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it does. I'm envious of people that can play any instrument because I've, I've tried over the years to learn different things. And I, I just don't have the, the or discipline. Or just like singing. I'm really jealous of people who can sing. Yeah. I'm shit at all of it. I'm good at video games, but I'm just shit at singing. Is that something? I know it takes time to learn to play an instrument, but your voice obviously is an instrument too. Did you like, did you, do you feel like you had to learn, learn to be oh, yeah. better as a singer totally. as well? Yes. It took a long time to learn how to sing correctly. And I took a vocal lesson, but the thing is, every single singer of every single band that we've ever toured with, we have these conversations about like, okay, what do you do to warm up your voice? What do you do to warm up your voice? Okay, what I do is this, and everybody's always trading tips and ideas back and forth. Uh -huh. Nobody in the whole world that I know of thinks that they're a great singer. Even people that have amazing voices are always self-conscious about their voices. And every singer in every band that I've ever toured with is always worried about losing their voice. So it's really, just people trying to find the proper techniques to not lose their voice on tour. I feel like Adele like, what, knows she has a good voice. <laughs> I feel like Adele probably does not know that she has a, as good a voice as she does. Well, you know how many Grammys she has? She has a lot of Grammys a, and she's- Like a lot of Grammys, awesome. yeah. I know, but it's like any any creative will tell you, it doesn't matter how many people tell you how great you are. You're always got that imposter syndrome thing going on that you yeah. don't think you're as good as you obviously are to everyone else. True. I mean, you can have a thousand people tell you you are the best at what you do and the one person's just like, nah, you're like, <gasps> that's the one you remember. That's Twitch right. chat. That reminds me of Twitch oh, yeah. chat. I will hold on yeah. to the people who are just mean yeah. for way too long. <clears throat> How's your experience been with Twitch, by the way? Like, when did you start? Was it a quarantine related? It Endeavor? was totally quarantine related, and uh, my it was all because of Animal Crossing, and I was talking on Twitter about Animal Crossing, and people were like, you should show us your island, and then that was before you could do the, the dream visits or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and so my son and my friend Jake both were like, oh, you should stream on Twitch, and they're the ones that helped me uh, set up my system here, and then Annika at Twitch is a friend that I knew from Twitter, and she really helped me out a lot as well. So. 
I'm still learning the ropes, as you can tell, but I have a lot of really talented and smart people that are helping me along the way. So luckily, what I get to do is just play games and act like an idiot and try and be entertaining in some way. I well, mean, Mark, I mentioned this before the show, you. but we are going to have to have on our uh, have to have on our uh, flagship show, Animal Talking, when it comes back soon. Do I ha okay? Do I have to have a good island because my island is a total? No, you're going to come right to now. mine. Okay, good. Is, you're going to come to the talk island? show set. Well, I don't have a good island, but I have a good um, I have a good uh, basement. Yeah, yeah. I've, seen, I've seen the set, so it all takes yeah. place in the set. Yeah. Yeah, it's all 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 in the basement. Okay, cool. You just need to it's have a character. And maybe yeah. wear clothes, but when T Pain yeah. was on, he got in his underwear and wore a crown. So yeah. you yeah, can do literally whatever you want. Yeah, we're pretty much unshockable at this point. The things that we've seen doing two seasons of oh, that no. show. Oh crap! No, Mark! You okay? You okay? You getting griefed? No, Mark's gone. I, no. Oh no, he's gone. Fuck. I saw right, your arrow. Yeah, I wasn't even griefed. That was just that was just operator error. Okay. I mean, it does happen. There's a lot of unforced errors in this game. Yeah, that was all me. Have you found that people with on PlayStation, because they can see your gamer tag, they like come after you or try to grab you, or do you get left alone? Oh, I don't know. Can they see my tag? Do they know who I am? Yes. If they have press left trigger, they can. Ah, oh, that's why. Because people are trying to take down... <laughs> they all want to take down a rock star. They do. People want to take down their heroes. <laughs> I mean, I still, I still brag about the time. I still brag out, brag, brag about the time that I cleaned out Huggy Bear from Sasuke and Hutch at a poker table in Vegas, and that was 20 years ago. Yes, you true. did for real. I did. I took all his money. He was not happy about it. Wow. Antonio Vargas. Yeah. By the way, can I just fan out for a second and say how awesome I think it is that you co-wrote uh, Rogue One? Thank you, Mark. Hey, so uh, Kate said when she FaceTimed with you, she caught a glimpse of a uh, stormtrooper. Uh, helmet or something in the background. Are you are you a big Star Wars fan? Yes, I am. Yes, well, I mean, Blink is actually. I've written songs about Star Wars in Blink. Really? Song called Yeah, we have the song called uh, A New Hope, which is about my crush on Princess Leia. Oh wow! I had no idea. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah, we can all relate Star to that. Wars, and I especially love Rogue One, and I think it is a an exceptional movie. And so, thank you for that. What's What's your favorite Star Wars movie? Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I mean that's that that's the consensus mm -hmm. choice. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. This is actually a really bad one to do the talk guys concept because I completely lose track of what's where. Mark, yeah, start okay. asking us questions and we'll see. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll yeah, see yeah, what okay. happens. Or do what our friend Adam does and start calling out where you see fruits, uh, grapes, oh, and it really dumb. fucks you up. <laughs> uh, okay. Kate, how did you get into video games? Uh, my older brother played a lot of video games. And then I had all the fuck, um, all the consoles. Stay, stay, stay where you are. Stay with me. And then, oh my god! Oh, you almost fell off! I just got a trophy oh, called Troublemaker. Oh are we all still a troublemaker? In the no, Mark's. Oh, remember? Oh shit! Yeah, sorry. Okay, it's just no, you and me. Uh, and so then I got brother... into yeah. My brother played video games. He was an older brother, and then I played video games with him. And then I got into streaming five years ago because I like video oh, shit, games. That's the one that I don't know where it is. Fuck. Uh, I'm going I'm here. I don't know. I'm gonna die. I'm gone. <laughs> we both. Oh, it was the one that I didn't know. It's the one I didn't know either. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, shoot. you guys. It's okay. All I got right, we a troublemaker. Go we go again. Oh, that was bad. Do you remember the first game you ever played? Yes. What was the, it? But actually, can I can I change my answer for best video game of all time? Yeah. <laughs> Space Invaders on the Atari 2600. Oh wow, that's going back. That is going back. When when my grandma gave me uh, the Atari 2600 for Christmas and Space Invaders, that that was a pretty special day. I was I was I was of the 2600 generation as well. Although I think the one that sucked me in most was Adventure on the oh. Atari 2600. I also got a trophy called Snowflake. Wait, what? What's Adventure? It was it was it was it was like a fantasy adventure type game that had you, you had to ba basically collect a sword and go kill a dragon. Okay. But the graphics was so basic like your player character was literally just like a square, like a, like a square block. <laughs> Cuz they had no because graphics weren't graphics back then, they were so basic. Right. And it was like eight screens. It was it was, it was, it was like go get a key, take the key, open the gate, get a sword, take the sword. Go kill the dragon. You're done. Like it, right. you could you could you could finish that game in like five minutes. And that's Kate, what video, your... but, you know, back then we didn't know any better. Right. Kate, what is your favorite video game of all time? Final Fantasy VII. Okay. The I've remake or the original? Well, the original was the one that I remember playing a lot, and then I recently played the remake, and obviously it's uh, beautiful and different and a little less problematic. So we love that. 
Um, oh, problematic in what way? What, why, how are oh, we don't need to. We don't need to. It's fine. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's, a lot of these, a lot of video games have not aged well. Yeah, so it, it was it was mostly fine. There was just a couple things that were a little not great. Um, well, I you know what I was playing Uncharted the first one, and I was like, hmm. Yeah. I noticed I noticed that every single bad guy in here, except for the mob boss, is a person of color. Yeah, you noticed that too, and it's yeah. it's interesting to see how video games have evolved, and we, yeah, we love that. Yeah, changed a lot, just even in the last ten years. Yeah, um, but probably Final Fantasy VII is like favorite game of all time. And what was that originally on PlayStation Two? PlayStation. On PlayStation One, okay. I'm pretty sure, um, but I played that when I was seven, and then I remember um, no. Tony, babies around here. Tony, well, Tony Hawk Pro <laughs> Skater. I played that when I was nine, and that I, play, I put a lot of time into that game, so that one means a lot. And so having both remakes of these games that meant so much to me come out in the same year and be so beautiful and exactly what I wanted was pretty spectacular. That's great. I have some bad news for you guys. Oh, no. Did you not make it? I didn't make it. All right, then we're, we bail. That was round one, right? So we bail. Yeah, okay. Abandoned well, show? About that. We'll, we'll, oh, that's sorry. fine. We'll go again. We like to keep the team uh, team cohesion together. Mm -hmm. but, but you know when what's you're cool? Go ahead. Well, you know, I've played inverted controls for my whole life until just recently. And when Fall Guys came out, they didn't have inverted controls. And I tweeted True. like, hey, at Fallout Guys, how many kudos do I have to buy to unlock inverted controls? And the creator and of got it, him. Yeah. But he hit me up or I don't even, I probably wrongly assume that it's a man. But whoever it was hit me up and said, huge fan, love your band. You know, here's inverted controls. So I'm sure Plus, that it was responsible not responsible for that. I'm gonna take credit. I don't think it was really. Yeah, why my, not? I don't think it's it was because of me, but I'm gonna take credit for it anyway. I also you really should, you, like. You should like brand that. It's like, do you play regular or hoppus? I play hoppus. <laughs> totally. I like how you inadvertently <laughs> called it Fallout Guys. Oh Fallout yeah, guys. That's funny. <laughs> did, I, did I say that again right now? Yeah, you said Fallout Guys. <laughs> oh damn it! I said it as a joke one time. <laughs> and now you can't I said get it away. As a joke once, and now I just say it all the time. It seems appropriate, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Mark, when you would, uh, when you and the band would like go around in the, you know, the tour bus and and that whole business, would you always have like a game console set up there? Would you have play video games on the road? I'm the only one in the band that plays video games. Travis okay. is always, Travis is very like, likes to work out, likes to practice, likes to work on other stuff, likes to, you know, build companies and do things like that. Uh, so Travis doesn't play. Matt has no interest in playing video games, and so I'm really the only gamer. I. On the tour for California was when I got into Breath of the Wild and I played that the whole time. And oh, on what a game! And oh, it's so great. And other tours that we've had, like uh, I did, what's it called, Medal of Honor? Yeah, yep. And another tour, Escape from Ape Island or so, or Escape from Monkey Island. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, some, it was so hard and I got so frustrated at it. But yeah, yes, I always bring a, a console on tour. Do you have a preferred console? Well, now I, I mean, I don't know. I loved touring with my uh, Switch mm -hmm. the last two summers. And then like well, right now, I mostly play on my PS4 just because, uh, you know, not going it anywhere. has all the new games. Yeah, I mean, obviously and, not so useful now, but like in regular times, if you're like a, a rock star on the road, that Switch has got to be clutch, right? The Switch is great. And it, it totally fits the way that I tour. When I tour, I don't check any luggage. I do my whole tour with a roll on and a backpack. Oh, wow. And so, and so having the Switch is great, but having a pack of a PS4, it's yeah. going to it's gonna fuck up my pack. Is that just because you like to travel light? Do you not trust the airlines with your luggage? What's what's the deal with that? When I get somewhere, I don't want to have to wait. I want to get in a car. Standing at that fucking yeah. carousel. It's the worst. Yeah. And I don't, you know, the thing is, is I don't mind if other people check luggage. Like, I don't mind waiting for other people's luggage. But for me, I just don't like to think about it. Like, here's all my stuff. Right. My right. stuff's here. I don't have to worry about it coming out of that hole. Yeah. And I have, I, and the funny thing is I've actually never, lost, I'm going to jinx it now, but I've never lost a bag uh, on, mm -hmm. a, on a flight. But until I see it come off the carousel, I'm like, I've got that I'm low convinced. level anxiety. Like, it's not oh, coming yeah. out. Yeah. And it always comes out last. Yep, mine too. Yeah. It's the left door, by the way. Yep, yep, yep. Um... Mine's usually the first that comes out because we travel first class most of the time. Right, oh. right, right. Oh yeah. Fancy right. rock stars. It's it's a good life. <laughs> I'm not gonna qualify. God dang it. No. No. It's right, okay. Back to, no. Back to that wasn't first round. That was second. Wasn't round. Wasn't it? Oh no, that was second round. That was round. second right, round. Sorry. Yeah. 
I've only I've only travelled um, first class. If you when I went to London for Star Wars, Disney flew the whole family first class. I That's gotta rad. say, like if, if you don't travel first class like all the time, going first class like just once or twice will ruin oh, regular yeah. economy air travel for you for the rest of your life. Yeah, it sucks. What about private jets, though? Mike? We have a question here. Do you, do you ever do the private jet thing? Like, are you are you are you rolling at that level? We have sometimes. Uh, not on tour. Well, on tour, it's pretty rare that we'll that we will fly private. Um, but there was one time where we were on tour. We had played a. It was. This is the most rock star thing that we've ever done. <laughs> All right, hit us with it. We played a show, a giant sold out show. Uh, it was in this open field. And there was like the barricade was falling down. Kids were going so crazy that like the security guards were straining with all their might to keep the barricade held up. You know, huge crowd, great show. We finished the show. We each hop onto our separate buses because like Tom was married, Travis was married, I was married. We each had our wives out with us. So each of us had our own tour bus. We left the venue wow. with a police escort to get to the airport to get on our <laughs> private jet to fly to Canada, to play a show in Canada the next day. So somewhere in the world, there's this picture of three buses in front of our private jet with police escort out in front of our jet as well before we fly to go see a show. That wow. was an expensive photo. And it's at that moment you're like, all right, we made it. That was the that was definitely a we made it moment, but it's also a like, holy shit, we're paying a lot of money to live <laughs> like this moment. Yeah. Well, that's one of the other things in that documentary you were talking about is that recording that album at one point you had three studios or something booked out yeah. because people weren't in the same city yeah we were we were rushing to get the record done god damn it god damn it fuck this game <laughs> <laughs> fuck the stupid the thing is it's not the game it's not the game it's the idiot fucking players it's that's the problem. idiots yeah. it's the idiots they'll get you that's kind of the joy of this game, though. It's just everybody falling all over one another. It's just so ridiculous. It's fun. Fuck this game. But OK, so this is back in the day. This is back in 2003. And how things used to work is we would send the tapes <gasps> off. No, 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 no. What's happening? Are you done? Are you done? Yeah, she got swept. Oh, uh, yeah. With what? That, that's At the last Gary second. With her experience, Kate. The Welcome last to second. my fucking life on block party absolute bullshit sorry so, mark so what were you saying you got team. you got cut off by us swearing twice yeah sorry mark. welcome to talk <laughs> please, please tell us about yeah. this so back in the day we would send the reels to a mixer somewhere in the world who would set it up mix it and then they would overnight us a cd so they would mix it we would get the cd the day after like two days later, we would make notes, listen to it, send it back to them. They, they'd go uh, and mix it again, but we were, didn't have the time for that. So it was the highest technology at the moment where a mixer could be somewhere mixing and then we could be in studios and they could send the mix through ISDN lines, uh, which is completely outdated technology, I'm sure at this point, but back in the day, it was the height of technology. So we had a Tom Lodalgy mixing in Miami. So we were paying for Tom Lodalgy's time and studio in Miami. Travis was in Los Angeles, so we rented a studio in Los Angeles for him to be at, and Tom and I were in San Diego, so we were literally paying triple rate on studios for a week to oh try and get the, the album done in time. That it sounds horrendously expensive. Now, is, is the label picking all of that up? The label picks up some of it, but you basically get issued a budget for the album, and you pay for everything that it takes to make the album out of that budget, so... Right. It was really our money that we were spending. It just got really out of hand. Was now, it... does that mean if you bring it in under budget, you get to pocket the uh, the remainder? Yeah. Nice. And was and it that's... worth it? Or like, I mean, obviously it the was... album did really well and, you know, it's... It was absolutely worth every penny uh, because we recorded the album that we wanted to record the way that we wanted to record it. And it was an album that came out exactly how we wanted it to from the beginning like from the first day that we set foot in the studio we said this is the album that we want to make this is our vision and we did it and you did it your way we did it our way like frankie says hmm. <laughs> all right are you are we going to qual by we I'm, i mean mark my, by we i mean my, mark i'm, I'm just trying to be nice I'm gonna be in the first 15. You kidding me? Oh my god! Look at that! Look I at that! Number, I was number eight, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I just saw him cross. Proud the line. of you. Well done. Good job. 
So I'm curious about how you think, obviously the music industry, the live music especially has changed in the last six months, seven months. Yeah. How do you feel the future of that is gonna go? Uh, the sad part is that until there's treatment or a vaccine, the touring industry is going to be the last to be activated. I mean, you know, I wouldn't put our fans in danger. I wouldn't put our crew in danger. I wouldn't put myself in danger to go play a show. So until this is figured out, we're not going to be on tour. I mean, those dumb smash mouth motherfuckers. I mean, what were they thinking? <laughs> It's so did you see what happened from that? They said that it's like $12 billion in medical costs. Yeah, it was like a fucking super spreader event, like the yeah. biggest one. Um, yeah, it's such a, it's really a bum out. And the, the hard thing for me, like the thing that breaks my heart is not people like myself, but the crew and the roadies and the vendors and the people who, you know, design light shows and the people who, you know, these people that rely on right. touring all the time to support their families. It's really heartbreaking. Uh, right. Do you miss uh, playing? I absolutely miss playing. I, I can't wait to get back at it. I know I know a lot of musicians have been doing kind of like these virtual concerts and things like that. Is that something you've been, had any interest in? I mean, during Twitch streams, I've like picked up a guitar here and there and like played a song or two, but having a proper concert, I it would have yeah, to be- Yeah, there's, no, the there's no substitute, right? Yeah, the band would have to all be together and we're, we're definitely trying to keep everybody safe. So I haven't been in a room with other people since March. Yep, um, wow. I know how that feels. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna qualify. It's gonna be close. Mark, you let's got see, this. Let's see, so you got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, we're in. Did you, get Did it? you make it? Were you, like the, look, were you like the last one over the line there? I think it was like 27. It looked close. Yeah, nice. All right, these are all confidence builders. You know, get these early rounds under your belt. All right, what's it, what's it, what's it gonna be? Wait, mean, meanwhile, I'm so stoked I'm this far. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have we have um, we've had guests on the show who have gotten their first crown playing with us. You know, because you know we we, we lift who? you up. We are the wind who? beneath your wings. Name names. Uh, well, we had Felicia Day and Amy Okuda on the show last week. Amy got her first crown playing with us. All right, cool. Uh, that's literally it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> made it sound like there's like a long list of people that we've carried nope. victory. It's really, that's, it's really that's just it. one. It's just the one. <laughs> there's nothing like your first crown. Attention. All right, we're not this bullshit again. Okay, we, we I need feel like to we do should this. have an exemption where we don't have to do the interview segment during this fucking that's game. That's literally the whole point of the show <laughs> is to do <laughs> the interview. All right, melons and bananas. Come on, we can get these. This one, there's only two of them. Everyone, here, there you go. Just stay where you are. Nice, easy melons. Nice, easy melons. Oh, oh, and yeah. three people just fell off the edge. Mark, have you, have you, have you, have you written any songs uh, about fruit? About fruit? <laughs> yeah. No. I'm, try, I'm I, trying to stay on topic here. Not that. I wrote a song called Apple Shampoo. That there counts. That, that counts. counts. <laughs> Close enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I, I haven't paid any attention at all. I'm no, just neither have people. I. Oh, oh no. Where the bananas are? Where's everyone going? Over, over here. here. Go over here. Please be here. Oh, yes, my okay. God. Oh, we all made it on. Okay, good, good, we good. All made it. One we more. I just followed the crowd on that Let's one. Let's pay attention for this round. So no, you guys pay attention. I'll follow you. Uh, Who's shit. lightning bolt? Who's lightning bolt? And me, me, me. That's me. Okay, I'm following you. Okay, cherry, banana, watermelon, orange. Cherry, banana, watermelon, orange. Oh, I got it. We're, we're, yeah, we're on it. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. And that's it. What is that? What is apple shampoo about? Were you literally just like applying apple shampoo and, and got inspired? Uh, How it's does about, something like that come about? It's about a lady that I had a crush on and at her shower at her house, she had apple shampoo. Okay. That was very simple. I am yep. a fan of apple shampoo. I just, like that smell. Any shampoo that smells good, I'm into. Yeah. All right, 20 left. So we could do a left. 10 v 10 fall ball? We could do a 10, 10 v 10 fall ball is unlikely. It's possible. Jump club, uh, wow, more jump okay. club bullshit. Uh, my friend Andy Cortez, uh, this might be a, 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 a bit excessive, maybe like one is enough, but Andy Cortez asks, what are Mark's favorite three songs from every album? That seems like what, a song. What if just, Jesus, that, what, yeah. okay, no, I'm just, just, just Andy, me, Andy you, Cortez, you, I'm shutting you down. What are your three yeah. favorite songs yeah, what about your that three, Blink what, what are your has three made? Favorite, Blink, yeah, Blink-182 songs. What are your, uh, what are your three? Uh, Personal I love favorites. feeling this. I love bored to death, and I'm gonna say, 
Uh, what's my age again? Feeling this bored to death, what's my age again? I feel like what's my age again is just one of those classics. It is, it is. I love that song. What is the song that you're best known for? Is it All the Small Things? It is All the Small Things for sure. And how do you feel personally about that song as a song that- Oh, ah, 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 No, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Uh, <laughs> do you I ever get sick of singing the the, 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 the the songs that are the most popular? Because like when you do a concert, you can't like you can't not do it, right? You got to do the no. crowd pieces. I love that song. Even even if I get bored of playing the song, when we play it, just watching people's faces and they're smiling and they're having a good time with their friends right. and they're and they're, <laughs> they're out and they're I don't know. It's rad. It's so awesome to think that a song that I got we're through. it. We're through. We're through. We're Mark, through. this might be the final. Oh my God. Okay, you grief, you guys grief everybody and let me win. All right, let's do it. Wait, this is, that wasn't round four, was it? it? I mean, it could very well be. No, I think they're gonna fuck us with a tiptoe or something, or maybe a six, six man fall ball. Can I just tell you, I did a three round hex earlier today. I three round, Whoa. third round was final, I won. Wow. But it was only three rounds. You're more of a hex pro than I am. Fall Mountain, no, look. Oh, here we go. We're going, we're all going. <laughs> here we go. Mark, I'm in I, the final round. I will say that when you played at TwitchCon, um, teenage me was very excited. You weren't excited as an adult? That's no, not. I was, listen, I was very excited as an adult, I have to say. But also, <laughs> teenage me was kind of like, holy shit, this is Blink-182 and this is very cool. But and man, so, that show was so fun. Yeah, I, I love that we were show. Like way, way, way back. We, we weren't down in like the pit or anything. We were way back like in the fancy We were in VIP. some like bougie section, yeah. Hey, can I tell you why that show was even more special for me? Tell us. Oh shit. So my mom- Oh my has... God, I'm getting whacked every which way here. Fuck this game. Sorry. So my mom has been battling cancer for the past year and she went through all this chemotherapy oh and went God. through all this stuff and and, uh, and she oh got God. better and she's cancer free. And oh my God, first... amazing. And her first outing was coming to the show. Hell yeah. Oh, that's that. great. And so having my mom there was really an awesome thing for me. Oh, I whiffed it. I completely I whiffed it. The baseball guy got it. I whiffed it. Oh, I jumped I too not early. I get close. I'm one person behind. I jumped too early. All right. Well, look, that was the first time we all made it to a final round. So that's progress. That was great. Um, Mark, uh, fuck cancer. And that's yes. incredible. And I'm super glad that she was able to come out and, and see that show. Yeah, it was rad. It was a really special time. Uh, and it was near the end of a very long and very successful tour. So uh, it just, I don't know. It all kind of came together on that night. Did she like come, did your family come to shows? I, I It feels weird to say back in the day because obviously you've been touring yeah. for years, but like um, in the, like when you know, 2003, I guess that album came out, which was a, a big deal. Were yes. they were they there? Were they supportive? Were they seeing shows? Were they on tour with you, or is it mostly just your partners? Um, it, my mom's come to all the shows that we've ever played that she could possibly come to. By I mean, shitty tiny club shows in San Diego, all the way up to the TwitchCon show where we were playing uh, Petco. What do they call it? Petco, Petco Park Field. Petco, Petco Park. Park. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she's been supportive all the time. She comes out to all the shows she can come to, and she she has the best heart. She like bakes cookies for the crew and knows all their names and asks like asks them how their families are doing, and she knows all their stories. And she's like, even now, she's like, "How's Daniel doing?" Uh, Daniel is Travis's drum tech, or she'll say, "How's Robert doing?" And Robert is uh, my bass tech. And dude, you had me sold on your mom when you told me she camped out for a GameCube for you. Yeah, know, like, can, wait, can she, is she looking for more kids? Cause I think yeah, everyone in all of our chats is like, I think she's our mom now. I, I think I think she's got a lot of adoptive kids all of a sudden. Yeah, chat, she's mom. awesome. That's amazing. I, that's great. The servers, are, the servers are, servers are, servers are fun. So we're gonna, okay, let's go back, yeah. the, back to the lobby, yeah. There we go. Uh, question from the chat, Miss Envy asks, who is Mark's favorite band to tour with? Uh, my favorite band to tour with. We had a whole lot of fun last summer touring with Lil Wayne and his and his band. Oh God, I can only imagine. Which is so funny because I'm sorry, but that doesn't seem like a natural fit of like Blink-182 and Lil Wayne, but it sounds it, so much fun. It was so fun. Okay, so here's what happened is when we announced the tour, they like was so polarizing one way or the other. Some people were like, oh, I don't want to go and watch a rap show at a rock concert. Uh. And some people were like, oh my God, this is going to be the best show I've ever been to. And when we were out on the road, when we were actually playing the shows, everybody had the time of their lives. Every single Blink fan was singing every word to Lil Wayne. Everybody stuck around <laughs> to the whole show. His, he has just the best stage presence 
He's so positive. He's so happy. His band is amazing. They put on a great show. It was just like this giant traveling party all summer long. It was so fun. I love it. And was you know, that like a, about... a long tour or was it just like a couple of shows? Oh no, it was a long tour. It was, uh, I want to say 50 something shows. Oh my God. You know, I, I go all the way back to thinking about like Run DMC, Run DMC and Aerosmith collabing and someone in the totally. chat talks about Jay-Z and Linkin Park. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, what, 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 about, what about Lil Wayne uh, Blink-182 collab? Why not? We did, we did a, um, we did What's My Age Again. Okay. Uh, mixed up with one of his songs. Oh, that's Have so Have you cool. recorded it? Yeah, we recorded it. We put it out. Oh, I'm, getting I'm getting fucked, fucked, fucked right now. I'm getting dick. completely fucked. Oh Fuck my god. Whirly things. It's okay. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked all over the place. <laughs> I'm so glad you're on the Twitch front game. page and a swearing heat. a lot. There's a friend. I love heat. it. Oh, I'm never going to win, though. <laughs> no, you will. I'm not getting... No, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Mark, my entire mission. No, no, no. Mark, my entire mission today is to get you through Whirly Gig. Okay. Come yeah, here. Get you I, I've stopped. Gig. Are you a little sweatpants I'm not now? Even qual. I'm doing terrible. Uh, yeah, right. I'm in sweatpants now. All right, <laughs> you're you're taking it seriously. <laughs> All right, come right side. Right side. Yeah, but yeah. I always get swept. J jump. Oh, you're the, little, you're the little gym rat guy now. Okay. Yeah. Jump. You told me to jump, and I pushed oh, jump. Oh well, I meant to jump <laughs> when you Mark, saw the bar that? coming, Mark. <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> It wasn't a jump how high situation. I just no. thought you knew. You said jump and I jumped. No. I'm sorry. I am having a terrible, terrible time on the whirly gig today. I, w I will qualify, but it's not going to be pretty. So this is not, not one for the qualify, highlight reel. And it's not pretty. I'm waiting for Mark. Okay, Mark. Wait, just wait up here. Okay, we're all together here. And run and jump and ah! dive. No, nah, bop, bop. I didn't see it coming. It's, it's okay. Oh it's I, okay. I may not. Qual I may not qual. I'm not worried about anybody qualifying. I just want Mark to make it over this ledge. Okay. Here I come. Okay. Yep. Okay, wait. 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 No, you have to ah. wait for the fan to be gone. There was a fan in my way when I got there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's try it again. Christ. Let's find Mark here. Kate. Come here. You can do it. <laughs> okay. No, you fox. <laughs> no, Mark! No, he's gone again! <laughs> Just go ahead. Go on without Don't me. Don't leave me here! No, go, go on without, without me. me. I'm not going to qualify. Save yourselves. I can't. Oh, my goodness. All right. We're, we're going to get you over that over that hill. We're leaving. Yes. We're leaving yes. show. Yes. Going back to the menu. Are we leaving? Was that, was that first round? It was. Yes. Okay. Sadly. I mean, that was such an ugly qual for me. I'm, not, I'm happy <sighs> to not put that one in the bank. We'll get we'll get you over there, soldier. I'm so determined. Like all I want to do by the end of tonight <laughs> yeah. is to see Mark make that jump. I think I've made that jump before. I don't know. I don't know either. I have another question from the chat. Katie Dons asks, Mark, any up and coming punk bands that are amazing we should check out? Do you have any musical recommendations for for the chat? If they haven't checked out uh, Neck Deep, I would check them out. Okay, Neck would, Deep. Yeah, I mean they're not they're not new though. They've been around for a few years, but I don't know that they have broken through as much as they should. Like, what's what's on your iPod? Like, what do you what do you generally listen to for for pleasure? Um, well, right now I've been listening to a lot of like uh, like Yoast and Tycho and kind Ooh, of the more yeah. chill chill like electronic Tycho. stuff. Oh, Tycho's yeah. so good. Just because I've been trying to, I don't know, calm my mind when I think about like the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely feel that on an emotional level. My wife and I, every day, like one of us just sighs and the other one's like, everything yep. okay? And we're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. What are you sighing about? The world. Just everything, everything. shit. Final door on the left. Gary, yeah. what, are you, what are you eating right now, bud? Uh, just just some uh, some uh, gummies, gummy candies. Oh, yum. Yeah. Um, gummy candies? Well, the little gummies, they, um, they, they're, um, they help with my anxiety. Okay, cool. Understood. Um... Mark is another band that you might recommend to people. Uh, Simple Creatures. Yeah, Simple Creatures uh, is a band that I do with Alex from All Time Low, and we call it Trash Pop. It's like um, it's just meant to be a fun party. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be the Fallout guys of music. The Fallout. The Fallout. Guys of music. Oh God, my brain just had such a hard time parsing what you were just saying. <laughs> it's like this game, but in music. It's just like in it's supposed to be a fun time. 
Uh, we write catchy songs. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked on this door! Fuck you stupid beans! Exactly. Get out of my way! Do they not understand that they need to get out of my way? They're in my way. God. Can they not see the tag? Do they not know who I am? I don't know, I, like I see Mark Allen Hoppus it. over here. There I go, qualified. That's a real celebrity. Oh, congratulations. Gary, you're, you're not even playing board. on your account. That's I true. know you're you're bringing shame to your daughter's account. I know. Like, come I know. on. I was heartbroken for her today. She was one second away from getting her first crown, and someone stole her tail at the last second of Royal Fumble. Oh, that's uh, devastated for her. My God. I really wanted to get that crown. She's gonna get it. There haven't been that many team rounds. No, in this. there haven't. No, because it has because it has to be divisible by, divisible by two or three for it to pop. The number of players oh, left. Oh, okay. Then I'm always doing this because I don't like those. Oh, I love the team games. I, really? I have, yeah, I, 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 have, I have, like, Fall Ball is my favorite game in the game. Okay. I love Fall Ball. Mm -hmm. The three-way ones are definitely a bit more of a clusterfuck, for sure. I like Hoopsie Daisy. I think that's I a like pretty Hoopsie good Daisy. one. I like, uh, I like the, roll, the one where you just got to roll the ball over the finish line. It's just simple, fun. Yeah. Egg Scramble, I'm actually, I kind of enjoy. I don't mind it, but I don't love it. Hoarders, I can take it or leave it. Team Tail Tag can go fuck itself. <laughs> Oh, wait, so the... on this one, do you try and go across the top, or do you just go straight to the bottom? Uh, on this one? Oh, wait. You're, no, no I know which one you're thinking of. Parade. Yeah, you're thinking of Hit Parade. On Hit Parade, you can, it really doesn't matter if you drop at the bottom. It costs you, like, maybe a half a second. It's I, always, a I always go up top anyways. Got it. Yeah, Kate just likes to show off. I just like to be good at it. the video game. Yeah. I mean, that is your job. You're a professional video game player. It's literally my is job. This, what, this is what you do for your living? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a full-time Twitch streamer. That's fantastic. It's, it's a cool. whole thing. Can you imagine, Mark, when we were kids, that that would one day you could actually make your living playing video games? So I'd make, I'd make a good living. When I was, uh, well, I wasn't growing up. I mean, I was in my early 20s, but I was friends with Jeremy Klein, the professional skateboarder. Oh, okay. yeah. And he he uh, was hired, I think, sure. by Nintendo, actually. But he was a game tester. And so they would send him games, and you'd have to figure out all the glitches and things like that. And so he played video games for, you know, six hours a day and then he skated all night. And I thought that was the best job in the world. Oh my God. Yeah. So yeah, to think that people can support themselves playing games is pretty awesome. And I'm actually lucky that my, my parents were so supportive when I was, a, cause I wanted to play, you know, I played video games and I, my thing was I wanted to like review, I wanted to like work for a video game magazine. I wanted to be like a game reviewer. Right. And my parents were tremendously supportive and always like they went like, oh, you know, there's no no money in that. These days, I feel like it's easier for kids to make the argument because like, you know, you can point to all the successes in esports and streaming. Like there's a oh, legit boy. career path for someone who's good at video games now. There wasn't when we were coming up. I right. mean, it's quite funny because like you have the three of us, you've got Hollywood screen screenwriter, Rockstar, Rockstar, An and then video rock star. and yeah. then video game streamer. <laughs> And a video game rock star. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty weird. dope jobs. If I was I, gonna I say. Out, our jobs are pretty dope. They're pretty fucking cool. I like my job a lot. I'm a, I'm you, a big did, fan did, of my job too. Was, was, there, was there like a particular moment in your uh, ascent, uh, musical ascent, Mark, where you like where you, where you had that moment, you were like, fuck, I'm a rock star, like an actual real one? Uh, no, because I don't, <laughs> I don't feel like I'm a rock star. I feel like I am a guy who plays in a very good band, but I don't. Uh -huh. Like, I just feel like I'm a, a dude. Like, I feel like I'm the same person I've always been. Right. Like, I love playing video games. I love hanging. Ah! ah! <laughs> no, I take it back. I hate this. Okay, no, I'm good. You're good. Um, you're good. You're good. But, but you, I mean, but I mean, you walk out on a stage in front of thousands of people and they go nuts. Like, that's a rock star, right? It's pretty dope. It's pretty rad. But I don't know. For some reason, like, Blink Ooh. has never put ourselves out to be like, we're rock stars. Like, I don't know. Blink is more like everybody's invited to this big party that we're throwing. And like, we never, ah, I don't know if this is gonna work for me. Okay, I got it. You got this, stay alive. People are griefing me. You got See, you now you know the lot, term. A lot, of a lot of throwing elbows on this one. Now you know yeah. the term. I admit, I, Kate said she was gonna out me. I'm just gonna do oh it Oh my God. I, admit, I admitted my secret shame to, uh, to Kate earlier. Was it today that I admitted last it? Last night. Yeah, it was yesterday, last night. I, I straight up griefed someone for the first time ever in this game. <laughs> and I'm ashamed of it, but I'm more ashamed of the fact that it felt good. I asked Can you, I, you were like, I, I pushed them right off the edge on this very level. You're like, I griefed someone. And I was like, and how did it feel? And you said it felt so good. And then you started laughing. I know. And oh I, I, felt, I felt shame about how good it felt. Yeah. All right. So 18, there's a chance of a three-way team game here. There so is. when I... When I was playing Ghost of Tsushima, 
You know how you can collect uh, animal hides, predator hides? Uh huh. Yes. I don't know if you guys have played it or not, but you can collect. My wife hides. Yeah, finished yeah. it. She's really okay. into it. I killed a deer thinking that I was going to get some kind of hide. Oh, and you didn't. And it, and it didn't give me anything. And I felt so guilty that I still feel guilty now that I killed an innocent animal in a video game. I oh, did wow. that in Minecraft recently. I killed a parrot. I thought I was feeding it, and then I, I killed it, and I felt really bad. So, Mark, do, why do would... you... Oh, I gotta ask you this question. Do you, like my wife, feel upset when a fox leads you to a shrine and goes to Shimmer, but then doesn't stick around so you can pet it afterwards? Oh my god, yes, so much. <laughs> I, every single time, I would be like, where's my friend? Where'd my friend go? Your little foxy friend. Yeah, I wanted to pet the fox. Yes, totally. So, I'm, sometimes I'm totally he sticks around, <gasps> sometimes he doesn't. Oh. My wife is like genuinely upset when it doesn't stick around. This yeah. motherfucker right here. There's a grabber on this one for sure. And At he's, least one. He's this, he's this metallic orange bean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I almost oh, got yeah. him too. Yeah. I don't he's, understand. He's, oh shit, the timing's bad. Oh, I'm like, I'm like, He's got to time the it. bars, Gary. You got to time the bars. Fuck this Why game. Man, there's only one person playing? knocked out so far. Holy shit, two now. Oh shit! Man, this is rough. What I'm was gonna that? start grabbing people, fuck it. What was that, Mark? I wanna know why adults are playing Minecraft. I don't understand. Uh, it's surprisingly Fuck! fun and like calming. <laughs> we Wait. made it, we made it! No, did not Mark, me. Mark did oh, not. Was, was Mark no, the one got, that got knocked out there and doing so oh, so, Fuck! It, so explain adults playing Minecraft to me, because I only know it because my son played it when he was like in fifth grade. Hey, Mark, you my realize daughter, my daughter's obsessed with it. Real quick, you realize that we're playing a video game made for six-year-olds, right? No, this is no, made this for, is for all people. ages. <laughs> so is Minecraft. Yeah. It's true, but I but you can just build stuff in Minecraft, right? Yeah, but it's like super creative. So like I went and I built like a jungle house with like all glass flooring and cool vines and plants, and it was just like Mark, let me ask a this. really great you, outlet for creativity. Do you still That's like cool. to do you still like to make Lego? Not yeah, I guess sure. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same I thing. Can. Okay. It's, it's just I, fun to build shit and be creative. I get it. Uh, I didn't know if there was some like, I don't know, new thing about it where you played it as a campaign or something. I don't no. know. No. Okay. I mean, it's, there's definitely all kinds of like user mods and things that you can get. Oh, that, that, oh you, just got, game you just got biffed. I really oh, did. Um, my son showed me this thing that he found online the other day where it was a one-to-one -one scale Minecraft build of Disneyland with actual operating. Oh yeah, that's some amazing cool. user created levels. Fuck, so I good. Up. I fucked up. I think I just blew it. Yeah, I think I'm fucked too. Oh man, it's it's really crowded up here. It's gonna it's gonna come uh, down. It's to over. The timing it's of the over. Crowd. It's, it's over high. It's me. high. They're gonna have to wait. There it is. Yeah, I was I was up there. I was in contention, but I just wasn't quite close enough. That wasn't. The, that's not the griefy guy though, is it? No. No. Okay. The griefy guy Someone had a else. costume. So oh, he, man, I, I, I had the heart rate. I had the heart rate going there. It gets me every time on that final round. <laughs> um, you mentioned your son. Does he, does he understand like what you do? He's like 18, right? He's 18. Uh, we're about to take him to University of Chicago where he's going to go to college. He knows what I do. He appreciates what I do. He still thinks of me as like this just dumbass of a parent. Like, <laughs> so does uh, he, like, does he get it? Is he, he impressed? Like he, I mean, he's he comes on tour and he knows the whole thing. He's been on tour with us since he was six months old. He comes to, out on tour for the summers. He's lived around it his whole life. And uh, I forget what it was, but he was like, oh, dad, you're not cool one time. And I said, not cool? Dude, I play in a rock band. I'm the coolest person you know. And he goes, yeah, you're like rock, you're like rock band cool, but you're not, you're not that cool. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 like, the, the, the weird, weirdly, that your kids are like the last people that you could impress. Do, yeah. do his like, friends think you're cool? Everything that you've done. His friends think I'm cool. His friends think it's dope. His friends, some of his friends really like the band. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's something. But, you know, of course, he's like, he wants to have his own identity and he wants to not just be the son of this guy in a band and he wants to, you know. Yeah, for sure. Does he have any interest in, in, in following in your footsteps? No, he has no Personally? interest in music at all. He loves okay. music. He listens to it all the time. He has no interest in actually performing music himself. He's actually he, what, really into computers, is what he loves. Uh, what, oh, cool. what does he want to do? Does he know what he wants to do with his life yet? He is really smart, he, and he wants to study computer technology where it intersects medicine. Wow, that's really oh, interesting. Oh, he's like smart, smart. Yeah, he's he's really smart. That's awesome. Wow, yeah. that's fascinating. 
Mark, so, do, you, uh, do you ever mess around with any of the rock band Guitar Hero type video games? Here's what I want to do. I, this is just something that I came up with the other day. There, I think that some of the rock band uh, have packs that have Blink-182 songs in them. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what I want to do is get, oh, one of, <laughs> get one of those things and do karaoke Blink-182 songs on Twitch. You got to do it. That would be so fun. You got to do it. Now, what if you suck at it, though? Well, I know. Well, it's like that thing that <laughs> it's like that thing that Charlie Stop Chaplin trying. got third place in a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest. So, do you know what Blink stuff is out there on those games? Like what material? No, but it's probably all Tom songs, so I couldn't do it anyway. <laughs> there's so there's a thing called Twitch Sings. I know you're fairly new to Twitch, but I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a feature no. that is going away, uh, but it's like a, a built-in like karaoke machine within Twitch with cool overlays and uh, song lists and stuff. But it's quite possible that. A bunch of your songs are in there. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there is. It's called you, Twitch Sings. Twitch Sings, Twitch yeah, sings. and it's going away. Yeah. I don't know why. It was popular for a while. They're pulling it down in January to focus on yeah. other things, but um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Do you ever do karaoke, Mark? I don't. I don't know. It's it's annoying to me. I don't it, like it, it either. Me. I don't know. I if really I hate hear, it. Yeah, if I wanted to hear somebody oh, love sing it. the songs, I'd rather listen to the actual song rather than some you know, drunk office manager at a bad Christmas party. I don't I don't want to hear anyone doing karaoke, but I do like to sing it myself. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, oh, no, I don't know. I'm one of those people that like doesn't want to do it, but like once once I do one, like then you, I'm straight back to the song, but like what's the next one? You can't get me off it. Uh, you're the person I hate at karaoke. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm the worst. Fuck, that's I'm so worst. annoying. I am good though. Yeah, you sang the other night. It was like pretty good. Yeah, I have a good, I have a surprisingly good singing voice actually. What were you singing the other night? Um, I don't remember. I think I was just noodling just, around. Yeah, you're singing with Felicia. You're Felicia, a bunch of is, stuff. I mean, I mean, she's actually trained. She has an incredible voice. Yeah. I can't remember what I was singing. Mark, are you still in? I am. Oh, good. No, we're all in. Oh okay, my god. We're all in. I very Mark, quietly Mark qualified. Is hold, Mark I is know. quietly holding his own. I was, this. I was impressed. Oh, so uh, there are th there are three Blink One Eighty Two songs in Twitch things. Oh, okay. What's my age? The data. What's my age again? Think... All the small things and Adam's song. Oh damn! The depressing song. The depressing imagine, song. Yeah. Ima <laughs> imagine doing Adam's song for karaoke. This one's about killing yourself. <laughs> well, the other thing is, so you can. I haven't done it, but I've seen enough people do it that you can record yourself with your webcam. Okay. Um, and then I think you can save it so other people can go and duet and then you can sing different parts of it. So it's quite possible, and I, correct me if I'm wrong because I could be completely out of line here, but it's quite possible that you could log in to do this and then duet with some of your fans who have pre-recorded oh, cool. little bits and are like excited to sing with you. That so this is one I can never get past. So I don't know what I have to do. I don't know what I have to do. Crown, never forget your first qual on, my daughter got her first uh, completion on Slime Climb last weekend and ran into my office to tell me she was so excited. Cause this is a tough one once you, until you get the hang of it. So oh, yeah. too many idiots. So yeah. I'm with you. Bean, you get out of my way, you stupid beans! What? Do you, what did, how did you do that? What? What are you doing? You just what, have to. So I'm. it's okay. I'm in front of you. Oh my God. You have idiot. to time idiots them a bit the because they go oh my God, oh my out of sync with each other. Uh, these people are griefing me. They're oh not really, God. but I'm just sucking. Idiot. I'm blaming idiot. other people. Keep I'm going. Oh, he's done. I'm eliminated. No. Uh, he's out. All right, let's stick with Kate. She's the only only one who's gonna. Wait, Gary, did you get eliminated? Oh, I got I got knocked off by some beans, by oh. some idiot, idiotic beans that I now hate. So where where are you guys? If you guys are in different countries, where are you? I'm in Vancouver, Canada. I'm okay. in San Francisco. Oh, okay. Oh, God. And you're in LA, Mark? I'm in LA, yeah. But you've previously lived in England? I lived in England for three years. We wanted our son to have a different life experience. And we wanted a different life experience ourselves, so we decided we were going to move to London for a year, and we ended up staying for three years until our visa ran out. So, that's where I was born and raised. And that's what I'm planning Love on it. doing next year, so. You are? Yeah, I'm a dual citizen, it's, so I'm like, I think it would be really cool to go do like six months or a year in London. It's so great. I love it there. What part of London did you uh, live in during that time? Well, we first lived in Mayfair, which Very was nice. a little... It's very nice, but it was a little cold and stale. Like yeah. there was there was no family vibe there at all. It was mostly like, you know, billionaires from yeah, other it's countries. Yeah, hotels. Yeah, it's like their second home, and uh, 
Then we moved to South Ken, and that felt like a family, oh, also like nice. a, a really nice place. And so we lived there for two years and loved every second of it. Would you ever yeah, go back? I mean, absolutely. Yeah. I miss London sometimes. The problem is it's a shit show over there right now as well, though. I know. I mean, the, which is worse? Let's be honest. I mean, it's not. No, it's definitely. It's definitely not the flaming dumpster fire that we have right here. But it ain't pretty. No. Nope. Over there right now. Well, what's what's the problem that's going on over there right now? I mean, there's a whole bunch of Brexit shit that's flaring up again. Their Still. COVID number. Their COVID numbers are exploding again. They're in big trouble with that. It's just. It's just the, the, the same kind of incompetence that we have here. Basically, right. we elected a bunch of fucking idiots, and you know, <laughs> now this is what you get. Mark, have you ever played Hexagon? I've gotten to this level. This is the level that I always lose on. This is Kate's specialty. I gotta get on. Let's see. I mean, Where, recently it's are. been. I've been better at it. There's a lot of players on this one. How many? I don't know how many There's there were. 12. There's, There's okay, yeah. 12. All right. Okay, so you're so, doing well. She's a good one to watch here because she's got good technique. She'll maximize her time on each level. Well, now, everybody was telling me, you, I, Mark, you need to dive. You need to dive. You need to dive. No, like, no, no. Diving on this can be very troublesome. Yeah, because you have to recover from the dive, and you may not recover before the tile disappears. And they're oh, like, that duck they're, right there. Like, oh, right fuck. There. No, 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 no. <laughs> they're, light, they're light cycling me, and then I just. Yeah, she just, bunched, just lost a bunch of levels here. She's still What's in the game, though. cycling you? Cutting off, cutting off someone else's path. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, like in Tron. Yeah. 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 You <laughs> That's basically, exactly instead of, like, Instead of creating a wall that they crash into, you basically, you know, like you, you make you, you make it so they run out of space. It's 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 a it's a tactic. Oh hell sure. yeah! Oh. Oh, she's, oh my goodness! She's still up there. All right, I gotta start light cycling. She's, some got, folks. You got a mountain to climb. I'm now. done. I'm oh, done here. Yeah, she's done. Oh no oh, no no! Not. She's still there. I'm telling you, Kate's not done okay. until she's done. Look at okay. this. Six eliminated. I'm looking, I'm looking at the the the, the topography though. Oh she's motherfucker! Out, oh. Yeah, she's run out of real estate. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. If I hadn't whiffed those like three levels, I figure I yeah. probably would have been okay. Yeah, you fell through them. That was not good. Oh, I just level. I just leveled up and got my daughter the hot dog costume. I feel so bad that I'm on level six when I have like a max. I miss all my costumes if I'm being completely honest. No, I, I, I say I've been splitting my time between the two, so I've got a max character on forty and I think a thirty-three on uh, on uh, on this one. I only bought this two day for Mark. <laughs> Aww. Well, but, no, but now you've got a whole new, you know, you should start playing on this now and start leveling, leveling up this character. Yeah, that's true. The crowns are interchangeable, right? You get a crown on PC or PlayStation, they'll go towards the total. Yeah. Yeah, 41's looking pretty good. I'm on the road to 50 crowns. Somebody posted a complete list of all the Blink-182 songs that are in uh, um, Rock Band. Oh, okay, cool. You Let's know what would be fun, too, is Beat Saber. Have you messed around with VR oh, at all? that's fun. Have I messed around with VR? This yeah, is not virtu populating. virtual reality. Uh, I've 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 got to do the Oculus Rift one time a few years ago when they brought yeah. it to LA, and I got to go to this hotel room, and they showed us the stuff. I don't know. I feel like I'm like it hasn't clicked for me yet. I mean, it's definitely gotten a lot better. I have one of the it newer. It is getting better, but uh, it's still got a long way to go for sure. Yeah, I have one of the newer Oculus um, headsets. You have the Quest. Yeah, the I have the, I have the quest, yeah. but there's That's the one to get. There's a game called Beat Saber, which is, uh, I mean, you use your controllers to use a lightsaber to slice through blocks that come at you to the beat of a song, and the song plays oh, I in feel the background. Like I've seen an ad for that. I've seen yeah, it. it's, it's yeah, it's not unlike Guitar Hero. The musical notes are kind of coming at Got you, it. and you have to whack them in time with the lightsabers. But, mm -hmm. but you get a good workout playing it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, bands who do like musical packs for that. So like. There was like the Green Day pack and there was the, the Pitbull or something pack. And it's just like a, a cluster of songs that come out and everything's timed to it. So I could totally see, right. you know, a Blink-182 version at some point. Huh. It's cool. It's really fun. It's the okay. left, left hand door. Uh, left. Yeah, the left hand door. How do you know? Oh, uh, we know what to look for, Mark. Okay. Tony, Tony you're playing with pros. S stick with I, us. Uh, I know, you guys are great. <laughs> we got you. Um, how much does one of those things cost? Uh, the, the Oculus the quest? quest is like 500 bucks. No, oh, I'm, I'm maybe sorry. It's more. Canadian dollars. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Somebody, somebody will be able to post it in US dollars, but it's like less than 500, I think. Oh okay. But it's completely wireless and. Yeah, the wireless is what really makes it 
tenable. I got tired of getting like you have to be tethered to a PC, and that's there's only so many places in the house you can play it. You you know you constantly get entangled up in the wires. Right. The quest makes that all go away because it's all self-contained, no wires. And you just so will, will my 3090 card work for that? You don't you don't need that. <laughs> I need a 3090 card. But you don't you need you get... don't need it for the quest. Huh. I, I I do love that you're just gonna <gasps> rockstar that, oh, that no. PC build. Let me have that. You and Henry Cavill should get together and build a PC. Oh, yeah. Do you see the whole thing that Henry Cavill did? I, I saw. Do I need to get one of those headset things? One of those headlamps? You, you don't... No. Like, but you hurt. could. You could. Yeah, you you, you should just recreate that video. Uh, just put on a tank top. I didn't yourself. see the video. I saw, I saw like pictures of it, but I didn't see the video. It was like but a five-minute it, 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 video. It created quite the stir. I was unwell watching that video. Why? Mark, don't don't make me get into. You know, she Henry Kate, Kate, Kate gets very thirsty about certain subjects. Henry Cavill well, being one of them. Oh, okay. So you have a crush on him? Is that what you're saying? I, I don't know him, so I can't say I have a crush on him. But he's nice to look at. Okay, cool. Yeah. What, what, I, I what's, were... what's like the purely? What's like the really shallow surface level version of that? Because that's what Kate has. Yeah. I think a crush. <laughs> Sure, then I have a crush on Henry Cavill. Okay, cool. I did. I thought that you were saying that he was terrible at what he was doing and it made hey. you sick to watch him. No, no, no. Jinx. Little Jinx action. And I'm the Jinx. Don't get jinxed. I'm the one. Oh, you're Jinx? Okay, I'm going to try oh, not to God. get Jinx. You got to spread that Jinx, Kate. Oh, Wait, my. I so... haven't got a single person yet. This is very bad. Yeah, come on, Kate. Get it's just hard. I just grabbed someone and it didn't take. There, I got one. That's, that's not good. Mark, are you interested in the next-gen uh, consoles at all? Are you on a PlayStation 5 or a Series X or one of those? Uh, definitely. Oh, I'm trying to... Yeah, I I'm so get... ready for them to come out. There. Like, two months I away, I'm like... Cool stuff. Although, the, you know, because I didn't have a PS4 until now, uh, this is still pretty badass for me. Right. What took you so long to get a PS4? Uh, because... Oh, I just got jinxed. Because Blink was on tour so much, and right. I was working, and... I don't know. I just didn't really have a lot of time to play games. Yeah. And, the game, and when I did have time, I was playing on my Switch. Oh my god. Right. And and like uh, there weren't any games that I thought that I would want to play. I lo I fucking loved Katamari Damacy so much. Oh, like that's that. a oh, great what a game. game. What a game. One of my all-time favorite games. And then uh, so. No oh, fucker, come here. So there was a disconnect in the gotcha. time between when I was playing sweet Nintendo games with my son. And then he went on and was playing games on on a PS. Oh, oh, we're in PS. trouble here. We're out. Oh, no, we're, we're not. We're almost out. We're, we're close. For... One person left. We're almost out. I think we're fucked. Three to one. Fuck. Yeah. 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 So God there was a time it. when, like, my son progressed from video games and he and like I fell behind when I stopped playing for a while. And my son has continued going at it. God damn it. Yeah, I look. I, I looked at my PlayStation 4 Pro and my One X today, and I was like, look at these pieces of shit. I can't wait, can't wait to get these out of the house. <laughs> like, I got next, I got serious next gen senioritis. I, right? I just I got my first out. ever Xbox, and I'm thrilled. You did, and that, and, and that, you know what? And that's, and that's going to serve you well for a while yet. You're all good. Yeah. So, how do you, how is it for you switching between all these consoles and PCs and VR? It, and I mean, it's, it's tough because. Like Nintendo has different buttons uh, than obviously Xbox and PlayStation controllers, but it's nice yeah. to have it because I have a streaming office. So in here I have the beast of a PC and then I have all my consoles that are hooked up, which, you know, controllers are at the ready basically at any given time. Uh, so it's so, kind of easy to switch between, but. And then how do you choose which, like, what do you play through? Do you play through a computer monitor? Or do you play through a TV or what? I have three monitors. And then I have oh. a capture card, which is like a device which will make it so I can see it on on my main monitor, which is like my you know highest resolution, highest hertz gaming monitor. Then, that's called a what? A capture card. Okay. So you yeah, put you put like an HDMI out from the back of the console into this device, and then plug this yeah. device into your computer via USB, and then it'll right. like through, an Elgato. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and exactly. through through the program, it, you'll be able to see it. So I'm playing but, on my okay, PS4, but, okay, but well, on my monitor. So if you were switching from PlayStation to Xbox, do you have to change HDMI cables? Yeah, I just switch the yes. HDMI from the capture card yeah. from the back of okay. the PS4 to the back I, of the Xbox. I have, a, I, I have a little switch box. You just like okay. press the button you want, you know, to feed through to the PC. And I mean, right. that's that's what I need, but I just oh, haven't fuck. 
needed it yet, I Got guess. Because it. it's okay. It takes two seconds to switch the cable from the back. Yeah. They're right yeah, next to each other. It's not it's not terribly complicated. No. And then I have the switch no. for everything else. Oh, fuck this game. Got it. And doors, then the, doors. the quest would for all the VR stuff I have in here as well, so it's a big open space where I can do all my virtual reality. Got it. And how many hours a day do you stream? Um, like six. Okay. So and I. And how many people watch you in that six-hour time span? Uh, I. Oh God, it varies. But like today, I was doing the tournament for Twitch Rivals for Fall Guys, right. and we probably had okay. like 500 people watching. Oh wow. Yeah. And how many people are watching this right now? How many people do we lose? Uh, I mean, on Ga my, Gary's on, no, the on, the on the front page of Twitch. My channel's on the front page, so we have about 1,700 people watching us on that channel right now. Wow, hi, 1,700 people. And then on my <laughs> channel, I've got like 300-ish. Like okay. two, next, week, Kate's, next, next week, Kate will be on the front page, so the roles will be reversed. Yeah. Mm. I will be on the front page of Twitch next Friday. Surprise, my chat. I haven't told them that yet. But, and so yeah, what will we be right. playing next Friday? Well, I mean, we'll be playing this because it's that's the premise of the talk yeah, show. Yeah, we play we play four guys every week. Just it's just with different celebrity guests, basically. I understand. Yeah. So every Friday night at this time, you guys are on together. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, next Friday for the last few weeks. But next Friday, it'll be Kate's that's on the front page. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah the, the experience is exactly the same. It's just that her right. her channel is the one that Twitch will feature. Got it. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> no, it, you were asking all the right questions, like even when we okay. were talking the other day, and it's you were just like, I'm, sure. I'm new to Twitch. But like I told you when we were messaging the other day, I'm here to answer your Twitch questions. I've been doing this that. for a long time, and I think a lot of us take knowledge like this for granted because we've been doing it for a long time, or we just know, or we were Twitch users yeah. at one point, that it's like, right. oh, well, you just squad stream. Well, how do I do that? Oh, right, of course. And we couldn't figure it out for me. No, your dashboard is fucked, Mark. <laughs> no, I know. I, I need somebody to, well, I was going to say I need somebody to come to my house, but that's the last thing I need right now. Yeah, right? we don't want that. Yeah. I know a few celebs. I, I know a, a handful of celebs that have gotten into Twitch streaming during the pandemic, you know, because it's just they're fucking bored. They want something to do. Yeah. And I like it because I can do, like, you Fuck know, you. I, can, I can stream video games one day and the next. Ah! Ah! And fuck the these day, beans! Oh fuck! Oh, I can idiots! Get out of my way! Mark, Mark, <laughs> oh ignore God, him. What so are you much. saying? No, I love it because, like, you know, I can play video games. I, and then the next day I can, um, you know, watch a video about Blink, or I can just talk to people, or I can. It's like so adaptable to it's, what you want to do on any social Yeah, day. I do a yeah. lot of different sides. I never really settled into an identity for my stream. I just do a bunch of like different random shit. Actually, I'm follow you both. You do. Oh, fuck. You... Oh, I do follow you both. But I've... Okay. Come and tune in at some now. point. So what's the difference between follow and subscribe? Oh, so subscribing is you pay... Ah! Why like, do I keep falling off these Twinkies? You pay $4.99, <laughs> and okay. then you get access to, like, the channel emotes and usually other perks and stuff like that. Okay. Um, maybe access to a subscriber-only Discord, but it's mostly just, like, I want to support the streamer. Yeah. And then you get, yeah, like, a little badge yeah. next to your name, and you get the emotes. Following this is free, and it just means that you whenever me? you t tune in and go to your following page, yeah, um, fuck you. oh my god, Gary, uh, no, I'm playing the game. <laughs> when you go to the <laughs> following the page, game. they will pop up. Like if you're following on Twitter, right? Right. So, but yeah, it's really just a way to financially support. You don't really get a lot of benefits from subscribing. It's really just a way to support the streamer. Got it. Oh fuck you! Stupid hey, you? swinging ball. I think you just Whoa! got eliminated. You eliminated? Mark, did you? Are we all, are we all out? No, I'm, a, I'm in. <sighs> did you already qualify? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I'm out. Oh, okay. Balls! You guys are much better at this than I am. Oh. Uh, you did warn us. I did. <laughs> to be perfectly fair. What's your favorite flavors of LaCroix? I've never had LaCroix. No? No. Is it not in Canada, or do you just I, have terrible taste? I feel like it is, but I think <laughs> okay. I just have bad taste. What do you like to drink? Water is really good. Oh, coffee. Coffee's my, like, go-to. You know, okay. some friends of mine that don't live far away won a major national LaCroix competition. 
uh, and the first prize was that they would completely like remodel your kitchen with like a LaCroix fridge, refrigerator and all this shit. They didn't want that, and so they said, can we have the second prize instead? The second prize was basically a literal fucking truckload of LaCroix. La yeah, I would definitely and, and, prefer that. And it took all day for them to deliver it on, like, 50 pallets. <laughs> thousands and thousands of cans of LaCroix. Where would they store that? They, and it was all like, it, this was the kind of funny guys. They kept it all outside their offices. Oh, what the fuck? And every Sorry. time I went over there, I would come home with, like, a case of La free LaCroix. That's great. Mark, what's your favorite flavor of LaCroix? I feel like you're into it. Uh, my favorite flavor is key lime. Okay. Yeah. I, I can't do fizzy drinks so much. Okay, so you just drink flat water. Yeah, flat water and coffee. Kind of my go-to. Okay. Come on, Kate, you got this. I don't think like I do. A we need a crown tonight. Mark, did you just call me a trucker? Yeah. Okay. What does that, that mean? I don't so, know. Well, I'm actually, truckers are probably more like energy drinks and and coffee, no water. I don't think there's probably a lot of water with truckers. I'm trying to think of whose diet, who subsists on water and coffee. Fucking hipsters, I think. Okay, flat water? Yeah. I, I feel like models. hipsters would, would would be like a LaCroix or some, I don't know, craft water. <laughs> Come on, Kate, you got this. You got I 20 seconds I grabbed, There's a lifetime in this game. I grabbed and- Oh, oh I, so close. What the fuck? I grabbed and the animation oh popped God. and I didn't get it. Come on. You got it. Yes, you got it, Kate. Oh hey, my God! You can hold it. You can hold it. Run, Kate. You got it. You got it. You got it. Three. Oh, you're there. She's got it. Oh That's my the God! First of the night. Jesus Christ! Congratulations! I'm updating the crown counter as we speak. Oh, you won! I did. She, she did. You won the whole thing. I that did. Takes, take, that takes Kate to forty-two. Forty-two crowns. Congratulations, Kate. Thank you. Oh my God. There you go. I told you we needed a crown to kind of get that confidence up. Now we got it. Stressful. Now those Royal Fumble crowns are the worst. <clears throat> so stressful. Congrats, Kate. Thank you. And I just leveled up. Yep. God, we're oh, yeah. Oh yeah. You'll level. You'll level up quickly at this uh, newbie level that you got on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. What do you like to eat? Uh, Thank you, Lou uh, Crew. Food. This number's wrong. Oh, yeah? I'll fix it That's later. That's my go-to, for sure. Mexican food, and then sushi, and then uh, Indian food, and then like oh, pizza. My, I love my Indian food. Oh, I have pizza right next well, to me. Well, you're from London. Yeah. Where's your, where's your favorite Indian food place in London? Um, I don't have one in London, but I lived in Bath for several years. <gasps> and um, Oh, we had a, we just sold our house out in Somerset. It's beautiful. Oh I my love God. Bath. Bath if I went back so to England, nice. that's where I would go. I love totally. Bath. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Uh, so nice. I, I, worked, I worked there for, for several years when I was um, editor of PC Gamer magazine before I came to America. And um, there's a couple of places there that I that I really, really like. The Indian, I, I was saying the 25 years that I lived here, the Indian food here in the States has gotten a lot better. I'm sure it has. Ooh, what oh, what do you yeah. think about Seesaw, Mark? Oh yeah, first seesaw of the night. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. Let's do it. A lot of people no. hate this level and I love it so much. When you get out ahead of the pack and have a nice, clean, perfect run, it's the best feeling. Mm -hmm. It is nice. I'm in the far back, so- Okay, I perfect. Yeah, this is, yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is gonna be a mess. Oh my God. This level. Shit. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be getting ahead of the pack on this yeah, one. Yeah, okay, I already fell off. That's no. not gonna be my experience on this, this one. This is fine. Come on, come on, you idiots! Oh my god, this is a bad one for shouting at people. I mean, Gary, you shout at everybody during every round. Oh, look at this shit. Oh my god, come up! Absolute morons. If you could see what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> I mean, we're literally all playing the same game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if you could see what I've and Now seen people are grabbing me, eyes. adding insult to injury. Come on now. Oh. I'm not, I'm not sucking. Um, this is a weird feeling. I'm in first. I qualified. We're all, we're all, uh, we're all oh, you're already now. qualified? Yeah. Oh yeah, Kate, Kate was oh, like, well maybe, out ahead. maybe I am sucking, I don't know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing again? I'm wearing a headband. Right. Pink I bean look like, headband. I, I got like you. I John McEnroe. I got you. I see him. He's ahead of me. I'm actually farthest back right now. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Get over purple. 
Yeah. Mark, you're well, look how close you are. You're owning gonna right now. He's gonna qual. I'm right behind him. Look at you. Oh. Look at that. I'm gonna be number fourteen. Oh, go the other way. You did so well. Thank you. Look at you. Thank you. I'm so proud. I'm puffed up with pride. Good. You should be. <gasps> that was rough. It wasn't. It was rough for me. Okay. That's what. Oh, so Mark. Some terminology you might want to be aware of. Anytime you qualify, it's an easy qual. All okay. qual is not easy after you've got them in e the bank. Every qualification you make is an easy qual. Yeah. Even okay. if you make it by like the 40th and 40 spots <laughs> or the, by a hair's breadth. Easy, easy qual. qual. It's important information oh. for you. Yeah, it's, it's good, for your, good for your confidence to think of, think of him that way. What is going on with these idiots over there fighting each other? Because they know they're not going to make it. They're just fighting. The futility of it all has gotten to them. Uh, these so last Gary, two. How long you've lived in the states? Uh, since '96. So uh, okay. the, in, in April it'll be 25 years. My God, more than half my life. And what brought you to the states from UK? I was the editor in chief of PC Gamer magazine in the UK, and they launched an American edition, and I came out to oh, cool. help launch the American edition. I was supposed to just be here for a be be here for a year, but one year turned like, into two and three, and. Got a green card, then I got my citizenship, got married, had a kid. You can't get rid and of me. You're like, fuck it, I might as well write a Star Wars movie. Well, I mean, <laughs> back casually. back in, I, I, so I always wanted, like, my big dream was to be a Hollywood screenwriter. I never imagined right. that I would, that would, like, especially when you grow up, like, in England, that seems, like, very far away. Um, but I had a slightly more realistic dream of getting into the video game business and, you know, working on video game mag. I used to read all these commodore 64 magazines when i was a kid and right so i like because I, like, I wanted to program games initially but i don't have that kind of brain i'm not good with numbers or logic and stuff like that but i'm good with like <laughs> I'm, I'm good but i'm good with like creative stuff like abstract right. thinking and you know I'm, I'm like i can't do math but i can write you know i'm like i've got that Fuck. kind of brain um so it was clear that i was never going to be able to like program or like make video games uh but i could write about them um, and so I had a whole career doing that, and then I thought, well, that, okay, I got one of the things that I wanted. You know, I got the more attainable of the two dreams. But then when I came to California, I thought, well, now I'm here, you know, maybe, you never know. I started writing some screenplays and stuff like that, and, you know, eventually got like, I don't think I would have had the courage to like quit my job and pursue it full time. Right. I actually got laid off from my job. My company had like a financial meltdown, and they had to like lay off half their employees, and I was one of them. And I sat around at home with like enough money in my pocket to like <gasps> live for like a year if I lived you know, very frugally. Right. And I just wrote a bunch of screenplays until I had one that I didn't think was totally awful and sent it off to people and, you know, got lucky and had a, had this second career. That's dope. What was the screenplay that you sent off that got, that got made? It was, uh, that got, not, that, not that got made. The first one that I like got me like in the door wasn't the first one that got made. The first one that got, got made was the Book of Eli. Oh, okay. Um, but the first thing that I wrote that got me in the door was this thing called Oliver, which is like a post-apocalyptic retelling of Oliver Twist, which is actually now a comic book that's in stores currently. So, Ooh, Ooh, nice yeah. plug. Yeah, I got, well, he asked. I, I, I was ask. complimenting you. I wasn't even <laughs> sassing. I was just like, that was a nice segue. And so then how does your paths cross that you decided to get together and make this? Oh, I can't remember it better than I do. Hey, Fall Ball, my favorite. Um, my friend are Jamie. We all, sorry, by the way, are yeah. we all in? Are we all on the same team here? Yeah. I'm in. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Let's score some goals. Uh, my friend Jamie actually introduced Gary and I when PUBG came out. I don't know if you ever played PUBG you or know, saw it. Battlegrounds. Um, no. But it was like it's a battle royale game, kind of one of the first big ones. And Gary ran me over with a jeep I and did. killed me. Never looked back. No. And was sealed in that moment. <laughs> and then we became oh. friends. And then he started streaming. And then he like came to TwitchCon for the first time, but he didn't want to because he Why thought not? it was. I thought it was gonna be like he was gonna be the old dude. Uh, yeah, I thought everyone's gonna be asking me like whose dad I was, because I'm so, not really the demographic. And so I was I'm like, "Ninja's dad." <laughs> yeah, just say you're Ninja's dad, exactly. No, but then <laughs> I was like, "Come hang out at TwitchCon. It's, it's fun. We'll hang out." And then we did. You should say I'm, I'm Ninja. <laughs> I should have got Ninja that said I'm Ninja's dad. Yeah. I'm I got you. Year. I'm right with you. Oh I'm shit! Right with you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Bob it in. I'm I'm gonna grab one of them. Oh. oh god, they got a lot of players behind the ball here. Oh fuck! They're playing a lot of D. Ten v ten fall ball. Behind them. They're basically part the bus. Oh, Jose score. Mourinho style. Score, score. Oh, okay, there's a goal. So, okay, so do you follow Premier League or do you follow American football now? Um, I, I'll occasionally watch American football, but it doesn't really interest me. The Premier League's Ooh. back tomorrow. Yes, I'm very another excited. score. Who's your team? Tottenham Hotspur. Okay. 
Do you have a Premier League team? Yeah, I go Chelsea because we lived right down the street from. Uh, oh, well, in Kensington. Bridge. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and they the people there were super kind to us and invited us to games and we. Yeah, we had did you go? Cool... Yeah, totally. It's so crazy though because as bananas as it is in the stadium during the during the actual match. Oh no! Uh -oh. It's it's okay. so weird that it's empty twenty minutes before kickoff. Oh yeah. Oh shit! That's going in. We got another one. Yep. Yeah. We're yeah, we're killing gonna win it. this one, I think. So, Mark, Come there's on, a... what, what what period was that in London when you lived in London? Oh, it was the year that we won the uh, world, not the World Cup, the Champions League. <laughs> oh, so it was when when they were good, right? Yeah. After Roman uh, Abramovich bought them and put all that money into the club. Exactly. It's football right. time. Uh, oh, geez, yeah. Here comes the here comes the pigskin. Uh, it is. Yeah, and see, that's, that was a good time to be a Chelsea fan. It was a great time. And we had a lot of fun there. And then, like I said, they took really... Oh, my God, I fell they off They got one pitch. back. It's okay. You just you get <laughs> bopped into the middle. Yeah, you'll get straight back up. Oh, um, oh that ball glitched there. Server Did you see lag, that? yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to oh, go. There's a, wait. There's nice. It's going to go. Yeah, six. It was like a rugby ball. It was a football, yeah. Yeah, it's an American football. What the hell? Start wait until they drop a golden egg. It's worth five. Oh, for real? What's the, oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. What's the football worth? Just one. Just one. Just the okay. golden eggs worth extra. They're very rare. Yeah, they're, they're back tomorrow. They took a very, very short break. The full full schedule. Uh, the new season starts tomorrow. I'll be up early uh, to watch, okay. some, watch some game. The Spurs don't play till Sunday. But so there's some big games tomorrow. So uh, Lampard is still our manager, yeah? Yes, he is. And they actually had a very good, uh, I would say, for, for a young manager. Had uh -huh. a very good first season. They, they, Holy they Mark, the fall mountain. Let's Look at go, this. Mark. We're going. We're going. This is happening. Yeah, they got a cha the Champions League uh, qualification. They, they they did good. I think they finished fourth. All right, Great. Mark. This is your time to shine. This is it. What, this is it. All three of us Look, here. you are center front. What strategy? Straight up the middle? No. Uh, pick a side. <laughs> Just uh, left. avoid taking balls to the face. Yeah, don't don't try to avoid the balls to the face when you can. Okay. Now, Mark, I'm, I'm gonna ask. So I'm gonna ask you a question because we're still doing a talk show. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. Got you, under pressure. in my research, oh, oh, uh, found that you are a Rams season ticket holder. I sure am. Are you a big sports oh, fan? Shit! I, I am. A, I, oh, it's me and Kate. Oh, Mark, let's go! Ah! Come on, let's I'm like, come go! Come on, go, go, go! I'm watching. I can you see you. You're well off in the. Do you want me to give it to you? You go. No pity crowd. Oh shit! I can't. I literally can't. Who's got it? Who's got it? I think me. You did. You got it. I feel so it. bad. Okay. You got it. You had to do it. You I had to. It. I couldn't take it from you. What happened? I, I wasn't up there. It was just me and Mark. Yeah. I mean, how close it. was it? We were both touching like, the crown. Oh yeah, my God. Yeah, like a half a second apart. Nah, that's oh, a that could, Okay, that could have been Mark's first crown. No, don't, he, I, I, I hold on. I asked him on the run up. I said, do you want me to give this to you? And he said, no. I said no. That's right. No, you you, want, you to... want to feel like you earned you. You, you want to be sympathy yeah. crowns. Yeah. Yeah. Char you, don't, you don't need. You don't need Kate's charity. I will I say, don't. Mark, you're getting better. I am. I mean, look at that. A, a, a nanosecond from a crown just there. Totally. Yeah. Did, Against you know, a professional I, I Fall Guys player too. I'm. I'm happy with that. I mean, I almost beat a woman who has been playing for six hours already today. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kate's already. She came already warmed up. I yeah. won money today playing this game. Yeah. Literally a professional. Exactly, it's true. We'll get. We'll, we'll get we'll, we'll, yeah, I mean, look at. I mean, look, look at the progress we've made just in the in the last, you know, hour and a half that we've been playing. Exactly. This is great. We're gonna get. It's coming. It's coming. Oh shit! I need to update Kate's number because she's got yet another one. Forty-three. Nice. It's driving me crazy. I'm on the road to fifty. Congratulations. So, what's the next big game that you're excited about playing? Um, that's a good question. Um... Actually, I was about to start, and it's not like a new game that's coming out, but I, it's funny that you mentioned Uncharted earlier because I'm going to be playing Uncharted Lost Legacy on like Sunday, I think. Is that the, is that number four? It's like 4.5. It's like a spin-off game. It's not like a full size game, but it's like side Oh, characters. it's like the Rogue One of, it's like the Rogue One of that series. Kind of? Basically. Yeah, it's like, it's a, technically a full game, sort of. But um, not like Uncharted Five. But they sold it, it for like twenty bucks. It wasn't considered like a full price game. Yeah. And but I played four, and, and so I wanted to play it's through not this. It's Nathan Drake. It's like it's it's like side characters from Uncharted Four. Yeah. Oh, I get it. And so, Gary, what made you want to kill off every single character in Rogue One? 
Um, I mean, that, 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 that was always our first instinct. The idea right. that, you know, there should be a story about, um, you know, heroic sacrifice. So um, and and the and the idea of kind of of triumph even in death. Well, I remember Gareth and I actually watching a lot of um, that final scene of when Maximus dies at the end of Gladiator, which gets me every time. Right. Um, and this idea of like you know kind of a glory, like a truly glorious death. Like you know the characters in Rogue One basically all die so that the entire Star Wars, Star Wars franchise can live. Right. Like if the, if those characters don't do what they do. The Star Wars franchise is like a five-minute movie about the, you know, the, the Death Star going around blowing up planets until the rebellion surrenders. I didn't make it. <laughs> I had a terrible time on Gate Crash there. Okay, so so we quit. I'm quitting. Yeah. Wait, did you not qualify? I didn't. I I was too busy. I mean, you know, I, I don't have the, as much as I may have come up with the concept for this show, Kate. I don't actually have the mental bandwidth to execute it. That's if you get me talking, I'm gonna start fucking up at Fall Guys. That's literally why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, so yeah, we went back and forth on it. Like the the, the the actual initial draft that I wrote, we didn't kill everyone off because I was afraid that Disney wasn't going to allow us to do it. Um, but then in subsequent versions, it was like, yeah, this is really the only way to go. Oh, K2, we, we always killed K2. I remember killing him. Um, but all the humans, because you kind of expect the droid to die and he's still the first one to die. Right. And that's the, the, the way that they eventually ended up doing it. I thought I, I, I loved every bit of it. So, like, okay, yeah, the droid dies. They, they, someone's got to die. Might as well be the droid. But then, like, the next guy dies and, like, oh, shit. Okay. I guess a couple of them are going to die. And then the next one, they're like, wait, are they going to fucking kill everyone? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they and are. So did you get to go to the set? Do you get oh, to go yeah. to the set almost, and be part of all I, that? I, oh. I almost cried. I, was, I, I, I got to be an X Wing pilot in the movie. But. Oh, for real? But. Yeah. But. They uh, they cut me out of the final, <laughs> final cut. I do. That's I have the pictures and everything, but I, I I always say my character died heroically on the cutting room floor. <laughs> heartbreaking. But I got to wear the thing and climb into an X-wing and hang out on uh, Yavin Four. Is when I first walked onto that set, Mark. I I, I swear I almost cried. Oh, because it was like I walking would've. back in time and like like literally standing inside this movie that you've loved since you were a kid. Because they pulled all the original construction blueprints for those sets and rebuilt them like down to the the, the, the finest detail wow it was yeah it was incredible what they did on was that it a pinewood it was no that was that was actually a place called cardington sheds it's okay. the it's, it's the largest um uh enclosed space in england it's like a massive 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 like a zeppelin aircraft hangar type place wow and what they wanted was they really wanted to have i don't know how you remember like the architecture of the yavin rebel base but you know there's like a big like exterior kind of landing field area and then like a big open entrance that leads inside the base yeah and usually those and usually there would be an exterior an interior and exterior and they would like you know, they could be thousands of miles apart and you just you know you cut from one to the other but gareth really wanted the characters oh my god i'm eliminated fucking again gary um I'm having a tough time. So with everyone quits. Yeah, we quit. We quit. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm starting to turn into the uh, the albatross here. Uh, but Gareth really wanted the characters to be able to walk contiguously in one shot from the interior to the exterior. So okay. they found a location where you really could, like, you could walk past all the X-wings and the rebel ships that were parked outside and walk right inside that base, all the way up to like you know the command table that they're all standing around at the end. Like it was amazing. Ready? Oh, there you go. That's really cool. Yeah, I got very, I got quite emotional when I uh, walked onto that because my first, that was my first day on the set, <laughs> and that was, and that was my, and that was the 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 day, you know, because they they ask you like, what days do you want to come, and they bring, they send you all the call sheets, and I'm like, I want to go to the Rebel base. Totally. Yeah. And yeah, it was it was something. It's okay. What did you? Uh, what Star Wars sets have you been on? <laughs> uh, all. I mean, every one of yeah. All of them. We'll get her on. The, we'll get her on the next one if I ever do another one. Yeah, that would. Uh, are you working on other scripts? Are there I have plays? a. I have a Star Wars book coming out in November. Oh, dope! Nice plug. He, I'm, I'm, I'm literally not sassing you. I'm just saying it's a good plug. I love a hustle. Okay, what do you want to plug? My stream. I, like that's all I have going on. <laughs> right. That's it. That's what she plugged. Twitch.tv slash Kate. That's it. So I mean, you that's must. Have so were you so early on to streaming that you got Kate because you were so early or did you buy it from somebody or did you like, how do you, how do I get Mark? <laughs> I, I knew someone who works at Twitch who okay. uh, pulled some strings basically. Great. 
my wife Leah has at Leah on Twitter because she was good friends with someone who was good friends with Jack back when Twitter was like just a little startup and she's like literally one of like the first 200 people to be on Twitter. That's great. Yeah. How can we get you, Mark? That's a good question. Just be like, hey, I'm Mark from Blink-182. Why would you want to be just any old Mark? Like, surely actually, you want to be you know Mark what? Actually, I like that I got Mark Hoppus. I like that I got my actual name. I got through! <laughs> Fuck you! Yes! <laughs> yes, let's go. There's a, there's a clip. There's a clip of the moment. <laughs> I'm going to get through this bit, too. Yeah, I mean, like you've worked, oh, hard, no. to, you've worked hard to be Mark Hoppus. Why, why would you just want to be any sure, old yeah. Mark? Wait, Mark, you're ahead of me. I am. There's no okay, way. Okay, Mark, this is happening. You're going to do it. No, it's not. It's not happening. I believe in you. Oh, that's a wasted hope. No, 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 we got so much time. Nobody's qualified yet. Fuck. All right, I'm, where I are you? I certainly haven't. Where is he, where is he? Oh, he's, he's on the thing. It's okay, okay. I'm, I'm waiting for him. Don't wait. I'm waiting. waiting. Okay. No, we, just, we got loads of time. Okay, oh, now just, just wait. I'm at the gates. Yeah, yeah, I'm at the gate. one, one more jump. Okay. Oh fuck, I just got sent. Jump, jump, jump and dive, dive. jump and dive. Holy you got shit. It. Did you do it? it? Yeah, he did I it. Did it. All right, now, now I need to, now I need to make it across too. <laughs> Mark, you did it! I did it. All right, I'll be there in a sec. I'm are, you, are, you, are you going for the yeet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, she you, is. You're okay. Trying to get slammed across the thing. I got yeah. it. I, I do she's, something different. She's, she's doing the pro strats. I am so proud of you. But that was an easy qual. That's now, right, it was. He's got the lingo, he's got the jargon. <laughs> That's right, it was. Mark is a quick study. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I am so proud of you. <laughs> no, that was great. Do you have a dope gaming chair if you game for six hours a day? I just have like a pretty normal office chair because okay. the the gaming chairs I feel like I have a chronic pain condition and I feel like the gaming chairs hunch you forward, which is the exact opposite of what yeah. I need to be doing. They're not ergonomically great. I have one of those ridiculous gaming chairs that looks like a race car with like the fins in the back and stuff. Right. It's, it's crazy. It's so dumb. I'm embarrassed by it. Yeah. Mm. So but I mean- Logitech, Hey Mike, if you want to spend some more of that Rockstar money, Logitech oh, yeah. is bringing out this Herman Miller chair that's supposed to be like, you know, the creme de la creme of gaming chairs. It just came out. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like I like Herman Miller chairs. I, my wife, uh, the chairs that I have in my studio, my wife helped design the studio, and I and I like these chairs. They're like a vintage design or, or something like that. I'm not sure they're the most comfortable for sitting in for long hours. They're basically office chairs. Okay. Right. But they, okay. but they look awesome, by the way. Yeah, when I worked at Warner Brothers years oh, ago, I had a, they, they gave everyone Herman Miller Aerons, which are just incredibly yeah. comfortable chairs. Those are like the standard like recording studio chair for anybody who likes to oh, sit shit, there for fuck 12 balls. hours. Oh my god, that was close. I don't, I'm not enjoying this level. I'm gonna... Yeah, the um, the uh, the new Logitech one is actually based on an existing Herman Miller in design called the Embody. Okay. And they and they've just kind of glitzed it up a bit to make it like more gamer, you know, branded. And it's new but Logitech. They, but, they, but they did like an yeah, but yeah, they, it's, but it's like, like an actual collaboration with Herman Miller. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up when I'm not. Oh shit. At video games. You're actually I'm owning right now. There's a lot of shit going on right now. Just stay alive. I think Mark just tried to grab me. What? Is that you, Gary? Yeah, yeah, that was Gary. I tried to grab me. Okay. That's I didn't okay. try to grab you. Oh, fuck. Wait, oh, are you... Go. Oh, did you go? Yeah, that was me. Oh, fuck. I, didn't oh. was, I didn't know it was Mark that got us through. But yeah, you know what? You called on Whirly Gig, so it's fine. That's, uh, that's fine. That's... Again, you take and, the victory. And I basically won, except for I was second place. You... Yeah, I... Yeah. You were touching the crown when I won it. Yes. That counts. I mean, that's I mean, that to me is oh, I always just say in PUBG, I'd rather come last than second because it's so agonizing to be that close to glory. But you know what? I, I'm so happy that it's a friend of mine that took it. See, there you go. No, you're right. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> if it was like some griefer, then you would have been pissed. Yes. If it were anybody else except for you or Gary, then I would have been mad. There you go. All right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Kate is a griefer, but she is pro griefing. You are? She, yeah, I she don't, supports it. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't mind it. I've definitely done it successfully, and it's really fun. Like, Did some of the most it? fun that Kate's had is watching me get griefed in this oh, game. Oh, God. <laughs> it was amazing. I'm specifically thinking of Dr. Lupo. Yeah, when he griefed. He griefed me on this game. It was wonderful. <laughs> I, mean, I had to respect how he greeted me because it was impressive, but I didn't, I still, you know, I'm, I'm not talking to him. No, he was in my chat today cheering me on for the tournament. Was he good for him? He was. And we came eighth and I feel like he would be proud. 
So when you do TwitchCon, do you just walk around, or do you have like a booth that you do yourself, or what? What, uh, what do you do at, at TwitchCon? So I do a couple of things. I do panels. Okay. So I get like as an invited guest onto panels to talk about various things, mm -hmm. and then I do. They have like a, a specific meet and greet area, so Twitch will set up meet and greets for viewers to come and meet us. And so Did I you get to go to the those. secret back room. Sometimes. Oh yeah, part in the lounge. Okay, because I got we got to go into some secret back lounge and they gave us like Twitch onesies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the okay. There's 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 another other secret back room that Mark is talking about, and yes, I do know what you're talking about. Oh, of course, okay. of course, Kate knows about the super duper secret room that I don't know about, because Kate's have, I, I'm a, I'm only a VIP. Kate's a VVIP. Well, they had that thing where you could like wave and the, the wall thing. Yeah, yeah, the wall was cool. And is that the is that the lower level secret back room or is that the real that's, secret that's back room? That's the real secret back room. Hell yeah, I got the real shit. <laughs> yeah, you did, Mark. <laughs> Are you gonna Kate, try to Kate is actually like a real celebrity when she goes to TwitchCon. Like she really will like stand behind a thing and people will wait in line to, to meet her and get autographs totally. and stuff. Yeah, it's that's crazy. awesome. It's pretty cool. And uh Gary, when you go, did you just do the same thing or, or walk so around? What, ha what happened was last year, like, I'm, a, I'm a real homebody and I, I never really like, I turned down a lot of invites to go to conventions and things like that because I just don't like people or the world very much. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, but last year I made a conscious effort to like say yes to more things. And so I went to my local, uh, we have a really cool comic convention up here called Silicon Valley Comic Con that I went to um, and really enjoyed that. That was really fun. And then went to Austin Film Festival, went to PAX, which is, you know, another big video game convention. I had a great time at all of them. And then TwitchCon was like the fourth one, but it was the one that I was like, th this is the one where I like, you know, it was one too many. Like, right. it's not gonna, like, this is gonna be the one where I like, feel like I don't belong, where I won't understand the culture. Everyone's gonna be 12 years old. I'm just gonna feel like a like a, an old man. And I did a little bit, but like, I ended up having a really great time. Uh, Kate and I and some of our friends ended up uh, having one of the all-time great meals at Nobu. Oh yeah, we went to San Nobu Diego. on my birthday last year. Yeah, did you know? Did a bunch of panels and stuff. It was fun. Mm -hmm. We saw you live in concert. Yeah. yeah, that was the highlight. That was the highlight of my trip. Yeah, it was great. And so now everyone's bummed that like we can't get like all packs and Twitch and all the things we enjoyed doing this last year. They're all mm -hmm. coming up like we're all coming up again like right now. And everyone's bummed that like it's not a thing this year. Right. Well, I mean, like, PAX online, online is happening like tomorrow morning. Yeah, but that's not the same. No, it's not. Would you I just found out today I'm going to be doing a little something at PAX online. Me too. Tomorrow night. I don't, don't think I'm doing the same thing as you. But... You're not. What's PAX? PAX is the Penny Arcade Expo. Um, so it's like ah. one of the biggest gaming conventions. And they have five different locations, like Seattle, uh, Boston, San Antonio, yeah. Texas, Australia, and then an unplugged version for board games in uh, Philly, I think. Okay. Se Seattle is the main, that was the first one. It used to be or called Pen PAX Prime because it was the original one. Now it's just PAX West. Uh, but that's the one that I've been to. I've been a bunch of times. And I just have, I actually gave the keynote uh, address there last year. And, um, and always have, just about? always have a great time. Mike, they, 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 they like they, when they, they, it's called story time, and they always ask the speaker. It's always someone like someone of, of note from like the video game or entertainment world, and uh, they usually just ask you to like talk about just your life, and your career. Yeah, just tell us, just tell us like your your oh, nerdy story. Oh shit! And so I, I just kind of told the whole story. Gary, we're how separated. I games and oh well, boy, maybe it's the, for the best. The things are disappearing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I Jump think I'm on the right side of it. Showdown. I think I'm on the right side of it. I'm not on the right side of it. You have a chance to come I'm, over I here though. To, I may have to do a leap. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm do. gonna do a leap. No, I didn't make it. Okay, Sorry, well it's just, just me then. I'm lightning bolts. Right. Yeah, I see you. I'll get on you right now. There we go. Oh shit. Mark, would you go back to TwitchCon? Totally. Even if you weren't playing. Yeah. Yeah. I think now, especially because I I understand it a lot better. Like, uh, it's hard for somebody, I mean, who doesn't play games, to walk around it and understand what's happening a lot. Sure. Especially when you're looking at like pieces of computer <laughs> technology. <laughs> yep. Like, oh look, there's a piece of a circuit board. I bet Oof. that's dope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that knocks off like half of them, Kate. I know. Did you get recognized quite a lot when you were just like wandering around? Yeah. Do you still get recognized? Do people are just like, uh, like? It's weird. Sometimes I go oh, out. Oh fuck. Yep. And it's and it's like a meet and greet, like you know, like whatever. I'm in some. I'm in a grocery store, and somebody recognizes me, and then somebody looks over, like, "What's that? Oh, oh, I know that guy." And then and then I end up talking to like ten different people, and sometimes I go out and 
Nobody gives a damn. It's oh like, fuck uh, no! Yeah, I, I saw that one coming. Sorry, Kate. I know. No, I don't think there was anything you could have done. No, there wasn't. Um. So my, anyways, my, if continue. Like, in, in, uh, under normal circumstances, if you go to like Target or whatever to get a loaf of bread, what what are the chances that someone's going to recognize you? You go to Target to buy bread? I mean, when I I mean, why not? We're not fussed. You know, I wouldn't. We're, we're, I feel like that's like a more. End, that's like a Trader we're not Joe's. Like high end, like artisanal yeah. bread folk. Like, I feel I'm like bread, bread is like a Trader bread, Joe's ex excursion. If I were going out to just like uh, go to a grocery store or something, I'd probably get recognized twice. I would say. Okay. Like just in the sense that you're aware, you're aware of the fact that like someone's going, oh look, that's Mark Hoppus, or like are they actually coming up to you? Don't come up. Okay. Did you uh, intentionally leave the group? Did I? Yeah. Leave the group. You're yeah, not you're in no our longer group, in, our, in our group. Oh fuck me! I'm sorry. What did I? I did. I just yeah, reinvited I you. I just reinvited you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't. No, it's I didn't cool. know that happened. You just have to do that thing we did earlier again. Yeah, cool. What's your um? Mark, what is your approach to those kind of interactions when when fans come up, like just to ask, at the at the grocery store or whatever, and say, "Oh my God, you're Mark Harper's." People are so nice. I mean, it's always rad. It's always a compliment, and it's always. It's always cool people. I mean, uh, I'll never get tired of people coming up and saying, hey, <laughs> I really like your band. Right? I mean, what, yeah, it's like, what kind of negative thing could they come up and say about... I hate your band? I mean, sure. Yeah, but I mean, that's definitely Fuck those one. people. Yeah. <laughs> but also, would they come up to you specifically to be like, hey, you suck? No. So there you go. No. It's just going to be, I mean, I'm assuming it's just people being complimentary. I'm, I'm pushing join my game and it's not happening. Oh, that's weird. I'm inviting Are you doing again. it from outside the, the PlayStation menu, like accept the invite? Oh, I got to go back to the menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. That. Like we did last time. I'm new. No, you're doing great. No, you, no you're doing great. So, you almost got a crown tonight. I, sure I mean, did, but... my micro, the mic, it was a hair's breadth. I did. You were touching the crown. There we go. There go. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave the group. It's okay. We got you. Um, hey, Mark, you have a clothing line, right? I do. It's called Hi, my name is Mark. Hi, my name is Mark. Uh, wow. What, what was the like? How did you start that? Uh, well, when uh, when Blink was doing well, we had uh, like Travis has his clothing line called Famous Stars and Straps that he still does. Tom and I had a clothing line called Atticus uh, that I sold my part to him when Blink split up, and then he sold that, and then I I still liked that creative outlet so. Uh, me and some friends started doing this thing called Hi, my name is Mark, and we make rad t-shirt designs and skateboards and backpacks and masks? hats. And you got masks now. Masks, we do masks. That's actually sell really well, and they're really awesome masks. And it's just another creative outlet and something cool to do with my friends. Does the Octopus logo have any, like, deeper meaning, or is it just, like, a cool-looking I love that it's, like, dark and mysterious and intelligent. Like and a Kraken? A little, a little bit of a kraken. There's a reason that ancient sailors thought that octopuses were, you know, monsters. So I'm they, down with it. They fucking are. They've got beaks. Yeah, they have their. Oh, I don't like. Their... I don't like hearing about that. My kid shows me those pictures from her. Um, she has, she gets like National Geographic Kids magazine. And like, have you ever seen a swan's tongue? Yeah, they're no. messed it's fucking, up. It's got fucking teeth on it. Yeah. That's dope. My dad. Swans are just the meanest bastards in the oh, world yeah. like people fuck think the fuck. swans are like this delicate no, no they don't sweet fuck creature. around they suck they're basically just classy geese yeah <laughs> and geese are even terrible like canadian geese yeah. especially those will fuck oh, you geese, up yeah geese are, geese are the worst that's I, why they use them uh the romans use them as like watchdogs what yeah please tell me more about this so the romans would use geese because if somebody was coming to invade their camp the geese would go bananas and raise all hell, even more so than dogs. That's, there you go. That's nuts. I did not know that. I, I hope that's true because it sounds really cool. Well, now you're spreading it to like thousands of people, so. I didn't make it up. It's, some, <laughs> it's something that I heard before, but I thought that you guys would be like, yeah, yeah, it's No, I, 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 it's, it's very plausible. It's very I'm gonna believable. Look up in between this thing, I'm gonna look up guard geese. Guard geese. My dad actually has, he has like a, he used to work in a museum, so he has a bunch of random like little weird things like a dinosaur bone and whatever else uh but he has an octopus beak and it is so sharp like that could fuck you up yeah oh, yeah they're nuts i wouldn't it wouldn't catch me going near an octopus no 
That's for sure. They're tasty, but like, I don't want to fight one. Oh, don't eat them. Don't eat the octopus. They're I, so smart. I know. Like no, no. Eating... Listen, it was at like a, a sushi restaurant one time. I. It's like eating a five-year-old child. That's how smart they are. Wow. Well, I don't like kids, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kate would eat a five-year-old yeah. child, basically. And yeah, yeah. Not bad either. I think either. my argument worked the opposite. I never said Especially... that. I just implied that. Right. Legally, of, it was a joke. In terms of those interactions that you have with fans, you must have a bunch. Of, like, I'm, I'm guessing you've got like you hear all these kind of stories, like oh, you know, I met, like we met and got you know, got married after you know we met at a Blink 182 concert, or like I exist because my parents started fucking during a Blink 182 <laughs> record or whatever. Yeah. Like, do you have a bunch of stories like that? Oh, totally. So many people. So, my wife and I were at Disneyland a couple, uh, well, a couple months ago, yeah. well, a long time ago at this point. In the before times. And, and this family came up to us and they were like, oh, we're such huge fans. You know, we, we went to the, the mother and the father were like, we're huge fans. We've been to so many of your shows. This is my son, Mark. No. Oh, and, shit. and this is our daughter, Sky, which is my no. wife's name. Oh, wow. So they named their son and daughter after me and my wife, which was- Was it really weird? It wasn't weird. What was mostly weird about it was they were so cool. Like they were so, chill about the whole thing like you'd think oh, they if they if oh you the, didn't make it was like that... if they were such huge fans that they were going to name their kids after me and my wife you think that they'd be more panicked just like hyperventilating or freaked out or whatever but they were just super chill they're like oh hey how's it going yeah, yeah big fans went to a bunch of your shows love your music have all your albums name my kids after you <laughs> i mean at that point it's like all right cool yeah and they were so nice and, and so like uh I don't know, unassuming. It's probably better that than, you know, rabid fans. Makes yeah. you feel a little more comfortable. <laughs> Did the kids know that they were named after oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. totally, yeah. Because that could be a little uncomfy. Like, yeah, hey, like, you named me after him? <laughs> this is your namesake. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't think about that. What if, what if, like, it's such a letdown for him because he's like, I'm named after this guy, he plays in a band, he's probably so cool, my parents... Love them. I've listened to the albums, and then he sees <laughs> me, me at Disneyland, like, and I'm like, uh, halfway through a burrito. <laughs> oh shit! Actually, you being a Star, a Star Wars fan, come here. Have you been Fuck to Galaxy's Edge? I have been to Galaxy's Edge. What, what I have think? not been on. I thought it was really cool. I think that it's going to be really awesome. Yeah. Are you guys still? Oh, you guys are still playing. We're yeah. still. We're still in. Are you looking at? I did at not Geese? get to go on. Uh, I did not get to go on the uh, the new ride. The what's it called? Uh, oh, it's the um, I don't know. I, I Rise of the Resistance. Rise of the Rise of the Resistance. That's it. Yeah. I, I went for the uh, first and only time in December, and cried it, the moment I walked it, into Star Wars Land. It's really cool. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I, guard I, geese are a thing, by the way. I looked it up. Guard geese are a thing. I, I, I totally believe it. I think it's great. Now I need to read up on this, because I can't just let that knowledge sit in my brain without knowing more. They sell guard geese. You can actually buy guard geese, and you there's... I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Use some of that Rockstar money. I'm going to. <laughs> get you a set of guard I geese. I mean, honestly, I mean, I, I I get that they would, like, alert you to things and be very loud and all that stuff. But also, like, just in terms of the deterrent, like, I'm no more likely to go into a yard with a fucking goose in it than I am, like, a scary-looking dog. Totally. You know, they'll both fuck you up. Yeah. Oh, shit. When we were in the UK, when I lived, when we had our Fuck. farm outside of outside of Bath, I kept I kept bees. That was really cool. Did you make it, Kate? Yeah, I did. I okay. want to hear more about Mark keeping bees. Yeah, we had two colonies, and we got honey from it, and it was so cool. The bees are so awesome, and it's like science, and I don't know animal husbandry, and the the bees are so smart, and the colony is so organized, and the it's like so intricately balanced within itself. It was really a lot of fun. Yeah. Bees are so very cool. At the end of every summer, when it starts to turn into fall and then winter, the hive kicks out all the males to their death. Yeah, fuck you. So at the it, when it starts to get cold in fall, you look outside of your colonies and there's just a, just stacks of bodies of male dead bees out in front of them. Yeah, they probably wow. deserved it. Well, they're a drain on the hive at that point. The, the only reason that the male bees exist is to breed with the queen. That's the only reason that they exist at all. The females do all the work. Uh, and so when it's time to hunker down for the winter, they kick the males out because there's no use for them at all. I'm learning so much about 
bees? And geese. Yeah, there's a lot and to geese. learn. And geese. And octopus. Yep. This has been a very informative interview. Yeah, I had no idea that it was going to go down this uh, zoo zoological uh, road, but uh, it's fascinating. I mean, we so kind of... No, go for it's it. It's not when we had Dylan Sprouse on Animal Talk. I was literally just thinking about, about like Dylan. I was literally just thinking about Dylan Sprouse and Mead. <laughs> Who knew? Like, Two of you mead, could have had a business? Got a lecture in Mead what, fermentation what did Dylan techniques. What Sprouse talk to you about? Um, so he has, he, has, he has a meadery in Brooklyn where they basically make, like, you know, the ancient drink of mead, which is, like I guess, wow. kind of like a sweetened... It's like a wine, basically. Okay. But made of honey. Um, yeah, right. but made of honey. And uh, it's a whole business, and it's like this. He's like he's like involved in like a, at a craft level, and you know he's like an artisan, and he he can talk to you all about like the science and the art and the craft of like making mead. It's like such awesome. a fucking random thing to be interested in, but fascinating because it's like a whole world you know nothing about. Especially when your most of your exposure to Dylan Sprouse is Sweet Life of Zach and Cody or the kid oh, who yeah. was on Friends. Hidden, um, depth, hidden, hidden depths. It well, was just, technically Dylan was never on Friends. That was just Cole. Oh well, they were twins. I thought yeah. it was a Mary Kate and Ashley situation. Yeah, there's a common misconception. Oh, you did your research. Yeah. Well, I mean, when Dylan was on, yeah, I didn't want to say, "Hey, tell me about the time you were on Friends." He's like, "That wasn't me." I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Be incredibly uncomfy. Can't so, Kate, when you're streaming, do you talk to people or do you like play your game and then kind of check the check the chat or what do you do for okay so it kind of depends because for episodes when we're doing like the show like we are right now i don't right. interact with chat which actually breaks my heart because that's one of my favorite parts about streaming um so apologies to anybody who's in chat and i'm not speaking to you uh, i'm normally like super active with my chat um but if i'm just like gaming on a mm -hmm. you know, regular day i'll usually even if it's like with a squad of people i'll mute and chit chat to them and I'm pretty involved with my community, actually, but they know. What do you mean mute? What do you mean you'll mute and chit chat with them? Oh, so if I'm like in a squad with you, as I am right now, I will right. mute my mic just to you, so you can't hear my conversations, and got then it. I'll just carry on a conversation with the people in my chat. Ah, got it. Yeah, and then if like yes. if anybody subscribes or anything like that, I wouldn't want people on like I wouldn't want your stream or Gary's stream to hear anybody. You know, they don't need to hear me thanking my subscribers for a subscription. So I'll just mute and thank them privately. Another another crown opportunity for Kate here. Oh, is Gary, it just me? how often do you stream? I, I mean, for me, it's a hobby. Uh, right. So I don't, I don't keep a regular schedule or, or do, you know, like a lot of hours a week the way that Kate does because it's her job. Right. I just stream when I when I feel like it. The closest I've, ha I've had to any kind of streaming discipline is, you know, when we've been doing animal talking, which, you know, we yeah. did every we did that every week um you know for a few months and it ended up becoming really draining and you know it's a it's a it's a proper job you know you got to put the hours in and have a schedule and <gasps> you know, there's all kinds there's all no. kinds of shit to, to learn you can you know all kinds of do's and don'ts what are the don'ts um that's a good question so okay so don't stream whenever you feel like it keep a regular schedule if you oh, want people to kind of know where they find yeah it's that's like the first thing that they that they told me at twitch is like you know, keep a regular schedule. Oh, I don't have that. But you also can get to a point where you are a level of famous, basically, where it doesn't matter. Right. Where it's like, yes. you know that like thousands of people are going to tune in just because you say, hey, I'm live. Yeah. Um, but from that point yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not the difference between saying, hey, I'm, I'm having a party on Thursday night and okay, I'm having a party in five minutes. Like, which right. one do you expect more people to show up for? Totally. And also, like, Ooh, I just got a crown, but like just through grinding. Oh, from I'll the take past. It. Yeah. I have one crown. I don't know how I got one crown. You from got the, it from, from grinding the past. levels. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. All right. I've been doing terrible tonight. I've been I've been too focused on the interview portion. I've got to start ignoring Mark. Well, Mark's been interviewing <laughs> us <laughs> too. It's true. He's kind of turned the tables on us a I know. little bit. Okay, Mark, question for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with your stream, you uh, I heard that you have a pretty active like Discord channel and you were actually playing Fall Guys with fans recently. Yeah. Has that been an like a cuz we were talking about how you go out and you like meet fans in Target or at concerts or whatever. Has this been like a new and interesting way for you to interact with them on like a different level? It totally has. It's great. I love being able to hop online. I it took me a while I'm going to back understand. to the lobby. Sorry, this is not going yeah, to so Took me a while to there. understand Discord. So, but it's a great place where now I now that I understand it, I can hop in and I can talk to people and 
and uh, answer questions or do Q and A's or just you know organize Pokemon Go. Are you into Pokemon raids. Go? Yeah, totally. Have you been consistently into it since it first came out? Uh, pretty much. The yeah. Hell? Pretty much, yes. It kick, kicked us out, Kate. Oh, oh I'm yeah. in Dizzy Heights right now. Yeah, I don't know. It kicked, it kicked me and Mark back to the lobby. Okay, hold on. I'm on my way. That was weird. Yeah, so, so do, you, do you sometimes do just like the just chatting uh, type streams, Mark, where you're just like, can I just talk to, to, uh, yeah, to your chat? I have, and I'll just say like, uh, you know, answer questions. And it's usually the same 10 questions, but there's always new variations on it or different interesting questions and people are rad. And I don't know, I like talking with... I like talking with people about music and I like talking with people about video games. And then I like yeah. that, you know, the people that come to our shows and listen to our music are the reason that we get to do what we do. And it's a good chance to just hang out. Those are the ones I enjoy doing. Just kind of, you know, stream of consciousness. I'll just want, like watch bad YouTube videos and just like do very like the stuff that I would do, like even if I wasn't streaming. So yeah, if people but want to watch that. The thing that I the thing of it as is like if if I had a bunch of friends come over and we were sitting on around in my living room playing video games, that's the kind of vibe that I want to have uh, on my Discord channel. Right. It's on the right. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's. It, I, I feel like like one of the things that I admire Kate for, that I think she's very good at as a streamer, is like there's a whole art and science to like cultivating a community, not just growing it in terms of numbers, but like attracting the right kind of energy and tone and like you know wanting to have like a positive. You know, community and not like a bunch of just a bunch of toxic assholes. And like that's right. you know, it, take, it takes work to do that. That's not easy to do. It's tough. Yeah, no, we we've we've, uh, we've worked very hard to make my Discord channel a positive, fun, engaging place where people can go and I don't know, not have the hierarchy that I feel like a lot of other websites do. Like, not a lot of like, oh, we're well, you weren't a Blink fan from, you know, Dude Ranch back in 97. You only found out about six months ago. So go f go find the beginner Blink channel. And it's not like that at all. Like, I want people to come and hang out and have fun. And, you know, maybe they've only heard three Blink songs in their life, but they heard about this Discord channel and they want to come and hang out. And fuck, 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 fuck. Well, I'm fuck, not fuck, qualifying. Fuck. I'm so oh fucked right now. Rolled. I just got steamrolled. I'm hope... not going to qualify. I went from like first to last oh, in that door crush. Actually, I'm, yeah, I'm no okay. Way, no I'm okay. Way. Mark no, and I qualified. Not. I qualified. And, and yeah, yet, you did. And yet, you got to go back to the start. Oh, fuck. But Mark sorry. qualified. I'm, I'm sorry to do it to you. <laughs> Mark. We're, all, we're all equal musketeers here. We gotta, you got to back me up oh. when I when I let the, the team down. Wait, wait, are we exiting? Yeah, yeah we sorry. had to roll back because okay. Gary uh, did not oh, qualify. That's right. I know. I, I I, unthinkable, know I, I know, but it, it does happen I'll, I'll quit. from time to time. I'm sad because you just qualified. I know. I feel okay. bad. I don't feel good. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I've been I've been hearing the dysentery Gary jokes all fucking week since we announced Mark as a guest. Oh, yeah. I did, you know what? I didn't even think about that. Oh, a lot of your fans have. Oh, totally. There's a there's a comic. There's a really popular comic book out right now called Sexual Gary. I've been hearing <laughs> a lot about that as well. <laughs> I mean, not just because it's your name. <laughs> Not because it's your name, but, but it's just a that, great title all by that's itself. That's a great title. It really Holy is. Shit. It really is. Mark, where, where, where are you right now? Are you still I, in the I, game? I didn't quit in time. Here, I'll just die. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, you're you, you can't. Level. Well, you okay. can't die though. Like it'll just put you back to the beginning. Uh, you can, I mean, yeah, hit the options button. You can oh, quit you back to the yeah. Quit back to the menu. No, fuck you guys, because I'm on I'm on Whirly Whirly Bird. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna go he's gonna go for Let's it. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm going. I believe it. Okay, oh, while you're... We're, we're not expecting you, so you got to keep us keep us surprised. Okay. While you're doing uh, that, tell me about your podcast on Apple Music. Uh, well, it's a radio show is what it is. You can actually turn in and listen to it live. Cool. Uh, it's, it's on demand after the fact, but um, it's, uh, it's based on all things alternative rock for the past 30 years, like punk rock and grunge and emo and uh and everything in between and it's awesome i love the people that i work with the show kind of has the same vibe as this like we just kind of sit around but we play music and we talk trash and and have a great time and i love the people that i am working with and i love the people who listen to it and we're on our fifth episode at this point and it's been a lot of fun you just interviewed what's it called it's called after school, it's called after school radio, radio. Cool. I'm okay. a jump! 
Did you make I it? Made the jump. <laughs> I made the jump. Okay, so now what See, do I now do? Now that you've done it, now that you've done it. You're never not yeah. going to make it now. You've, you've, you've broken that, 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 that psychological barrier. Okay, so how do I quit now? I push options? Yeah. Yeah, and it should go like leave, quit leave show or, or something. Leave show, yeah. Uh, it doesn't say that. It says round over. Uh, oh, you have to wait yeah, a second then. Okay, exit, I mean, exit. There you go. Yeah. I will forfeit all rewards. Yes. I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. To come back and play with the team, the losers that didn't. Yeah, fall. no worries. No, just me making that jump and almost getting a crown. This is a this is one of the best nights of my life. I'm so happy. My chat says that you interviewed Tony Hawk. I was about to say show. you just did interview Tony Hawk for the new game, right? I did. Yeah, Tony Hawk. Our paths have crossed a bunch of times over the years, and he's always the classiest, nicest, most amazing person. He's one of those people that you like. You see them and you see their public persona and then you're like, fuck, I hope when I meet him that they're not really a dick. And he's not at all. He's just one of the most kindest down to earth people you could ever hope to run across. I love when he tweets about how people misrecognize him. Like all, it's all so the good. time. Yeah. This is not populating. Let's, yeah. Back it, to me. It also you. sounds like this might be maybe our last round. Okay. One or two more, I think. We'll see how this round goes. Yeah. Sounds good. Cause I got a big Friday night ahead of me, you guys. What, what do you got planned? What's the rest of your Friday looking like? Uh, I will walk uh, upstairs out of my studio and see what my wife and son are doing. And I'm really at the point right now where, you know, my son leaves in just under 10 days and it's really starting to hit home that like, oh, geez. my kid's moving out and then he's obviously gonna start his own life and I'm so happy for him and proud of him and excited for him. And at the same time, my little dude is moving away. So you're gonna I'm be kinda... uh, empty nesters. Yeah, we'll be empty nesters, and we thought we were gonna travel and do rad stuff, but it'll just be she and I sitting at the house in quarantine, probably figuring out new and exciting things to argue about. The empty nester thing always feels like, I mean, I'm, I'm like 10 years away from that being a thing, but it does really feel like, you know, whenever you see the the stereotypical version of it, it's like, it's sad, but like there's also the part where as soon as the kid leaves, the parents are fucking high-fiving each other, you know? And... <laughs> There'll be a little bit of that, I'm sure, but it, there'll also be a lot of like, I don't know, it's going to be a big adjustment because we've really, you know, like all parents, you kind of center your life around your children. And then when that part of the life goes away and I'm not going to be able to tour. So right. like, what what does 2021 look like for me? I don't know. I guess I'll be playing a lot of video games. And streaming I mean, a lot, I guess. You, I mean, can you can yeah. you noodle around in your studio and? Oh, and... totally. Yes, yes, absolutely. I was, you know, I work out of here all the time. We've recorded Blink songs. I've worked with other artists. Even during oh quarantine, God. we've been ab able to oh be creative. What's up? I'm, I'm just having a terrible time on this fucking map. You three. Okay, I, I struggle to call that. And I, I know that all quals are easy, easy quals, call. but that one really stretches it. I push the definition <laughs> on that one. No, I love I love being able to work out of my house and. Thank God that, you know, we had the studio built. We just remodeled our house and we built a studio into the house because I was looking at places all around Los Angeles and in the Valley and whatever. And we were like, well, let's just add on to our house. And it's been the best thing in this pandemic because I can pretty much do anything out of here. I can record vocals. I can record guitars. I can record my bass. I can record keys. I can do all kinds of stuff. I can stream. I can play video games. I can talk with you guys. I can go on Discord. So it's kind of, I don't know. You can I do it all. It. Are you I in your studio right now? I am, yes. And that's where you stream out of as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's why even though you're using just that uh, laptop mic, you still, uh, probably why you, you sound so good. You've you got the, the got acoustics. The, um, acoustics. Got the yeah. walls, yeah. Yeah. All right, come on, Dizzy. Dizzy Heights holds no fear for me. I'm having another. I told you that. I, I, I think I told you, Kate, like last night or the night before. I was just having one of those nights where it's just like it wasn't happening. You know, mm -hmm. you just can't get. You just can't find a gear. Yep. I feel like I'm having a night like that again tonight. Hey, Gary, your wife's a gamer, also. You said that she. Oh beat yeah, it. big big gamer. Hardcore into uh, uh, like Zelda since the NES days. Uh -huh. Big Animal Crossing player. Uh, she's pla she's got more PlayStation Platinums than I do. Really? What what yeah. does she like to play? Um, she likes these big open world uh, Assassin's Creed, The Witcher. Okay. Like she was really into uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is a game that she really, really liked. What I'm about Death it. Stranding? Did she like that? I she didn't play it. I okay. I tried to get into it. I couldn't get into it. Yeah, me too. Same same here. Mark, what games what? are you like really excited about? Oh, shit. I'm really. No, no. Oh my God! Fuck you. <laughs> I'm excited about. Uh, 
the Uncharted series, and then I'm really excited about uh, Tony Hawk as well. Yeah, Uncharted 4 was one of my favorite games of all time. Oh my yeah, god, fuck this said. game. God damn it. Did you not qualify? I, I did not. I was like three seconds back. Well, it's round fuck two, off. so Mark and I have to stay. No, 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 of course. Um, I'm, Uncharted I'm 4 is night. an awesome game. Uncharted 4 is, ter it, 4 is terrific, yes. And I Tony still think 2 is the best, but yes. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remake is exactly what I wanted from that game. The thing is that I never played the original Tony Hawk games oh, all that much, so, so I don't know that I'm going to get the joy that everybody... Hopefully no, I get I the think, joy. I think it's, it's, re it's really plucking that nostalgia cord for a lot of people. Right, because everybody that I've talked to is like, I pick up the controller and I start playing and it feels like I'm back in junior high playing at my parents' yeah, house. It like, does. I've heard, like, I've heard people say that about like their college dorm room and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I got teary-eyed at the opening titles. That's because right. there was like yeah. there was the perfect like soundtrack it was the exact songs they did like the the old song and some new songs but i was just like oh shit this is yeah it sounds like they, they did a good they did a really good job with it this is 20 years ago i'm already out no you're not it's okay <laughs> it'll respawn you i'm already no, yeah, got yeah. knocked down no you'll you'll respawn you're good i got you i'm like chumba i'm watching you right now <laughs> get knocked down <laughs> you get up again yeah that's the one they're never gonna um, keep you down oh fuck Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're good. This is fine. I'm, I'm following Mark's character right now. Yeah. He's doing good. He's oh. not in the sides. I'm not. It's a little knock there. I'm not doing it's well. only 18 spots, so this is this is going to be a tough contest. Oh, the fucking hot dog! I don't I'm think doing, I'm uh, qualifying. I don't like Mark's going to make it. I don't think I, I am. Think either, I, no, I don't think either of you are. Oh, I was no. doing well, and then I just oh, got yeah. completely yeah, fucked. Definitely done. Oh, I'm done. He just took, took a log to the face. All right. All right. Are we all, all, back, right, all back to the menu? Man, fruit shoot is is another fickle mistress. Should we try one more? One more. Do one more. All right. Well, all right. I think, well, if, well, I think we have to declare what the last game is so we can all mentally prepare. Yeah. Last one. Last one. Last one. We got okay. this. Yeah, my wife's currently looking for like the next, like the next, you know, big game, like the big, next big sprawly game that she can really get her teeth into, and it might be Assassin's Creed Valhalla when that comes out. There might there might not might not be anything out there like right now. They announced something at the, the Ubisoft board that looks, it looks like Breath of the Wild, but set in like Gre Grecian, uh, like Grecian times with like, oh, sorry, cool. like Greek mythology oh, sort awesome. of vibes. Oh, yeah. That was the one that used to be called like Gods and Monsters and they like, they rebranded it. Fe Phoenix or Phoenix Immortals Rising? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was called something else before that. It's like they, they renamed it, but yeah, it's been in development for a while. Yeah, as Do soon you guys as they feel like, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, you. Do you guys feel like when you finish a big game, like especially a big open world game like uh, Breath of the Wild or Ghost of Tsushima, or, one, or for me, like when I finish uh, The Last of Us Two, you feel grief? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like when you finish. It's like when you finish a really good book, and it's like fuck, yeah. it's over. Or a TV sometimes show. It, sometimes yeah. it's a while. It sometimes it takes a while before you can pick up another book, you know, because you're yeah. still like in the headspace of that last one. It's kind of weird. Like, fuck, how do you follow that? With like a, a TV show with several seasons, if you get into a TV show with like seven seasons, you grow to love these characters and mm -hmm. then it just finishes and you don't spend time with them anymore. And it yeah. feels like, yeah, you've like lost something until you find yeah. a new TV show, but. No, I think you're like, absolutely, absolutely, it's the same thing. Yeah. Especially in video games, cause you've like become a part of that character and you've helped them, you know, achieve what they needed to achieve. And then it's just gone. Killing people. Killing people and petting foxes. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I'm all fucked up here. God damn it. Um, what about cyberpunk, Mark? Can you see yourself getting into a little, little cyberpunk? Absolutely. Everybody says yeah. it's going to be awesome. I don't know yeah. a whole lot about it, but I've just looked at looked at what I can online, and it looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm actually but that's until November. Pedigree. November 10th, no. I think? So do you get advanced copies of games because you're so... Sometimes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Not like hugely in advance, but yes. How do I get on that program? You just reach out to companies and say, hey, I'm, I'm a fucking celebrity, and then they'll just give you stuff. I'll just say 60 million records. There you go. Yeah. Send me. Is that <laughs> is that the stuff. number? It's around there, yeah. 16 I don't know million? 60 or 16? Six zero. Fuck. Oh yeah, the big one. That's a lot. What's the biggest kind of a big thing? Deal. You're kind of a big deal. I like it a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Also, Mark, you're like doing really well right now. Thank you. I'm, you're ahead of me. As, as long as I can get fuck this, this purple fuck, thing fuck, to come fuck. down. Yeah, it's here. Shit balls. 
Oh. I'm. I. I, mm. I waited it for you. Here. Ah. ah. Did you fall? I, I. I hate this game. No, you love this game. Fuck. I do this. love it. I do love it. Game. I might not qual. I'm sucking tonight. It's that front page. I know. I know this sounds like a, my girlfriend who lives in Canada kind of thing, but like I do all my best work off stream. Uh -huh. <laughs> I win all my crown. Most of my crowns I win off. So I have won crowns on stream, but I've won most of them off. She goes to a different school. Yeah, this one time I almost crowned, and then this lady just jacked me at the last second, <laughs> stole it. I know she's the worst. I've heard stories. All right, you got this. I'm. I might not qual. God damn it. Now, what do you do in this position where, like, you the just, other... You just have to wait. You just wait it out? You just... Hold on. Just, yeah, I, there's every chance that I don't qualify here. Hold on. Fuck you! I'm I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to... Mark, I'm bringing it back down. Fuck oh, this game. You're... Fuck this game! Ah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, my God. I, still, I fucking we're hate not this qualified. game so much. We we're might... Qualified. I qualified. I qualified. I, I, I was at the finish I, line. I, I, there's no way that I played that badly and qualified ahead of you guys. <gasps> Holy moly! Did we get you in? Yes. Okay, good, because I turned around to come unbalance yeah, that thing for you. Thank you so much. Wow. No, that was clutch. I'm so glad that we both got in. Did you... But Gary, you didn't get in. No, I was the first yeah. one over! Yeah, he, he made it. How dare you? I don't know. I was literally bragging about how I was the first one over. I was too... Stress and she focus on in saving my ass. making sure that Mark got through. Okay. No, that was very. You're a good teammate. Who is your apart, biggest? Apart from when you grab crowns from them. Yep. Who was your biggest? Um, like your best stream, like your most numbers, like who brought in the most fans? One time. Kate, what's yours? Well, one time I did a sponsored stream with Amazon. And I okay. had no. I meant on on either animal talking. Oh oh oh! Sorry, oh. I, I thought you just meant my biggest numbers because I had sixty five thousand viewers that day. <laughs> for, animal, for animal Holy. talking, the biggest live show we ever did was Selena, Selena Gomez. Gomez. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. The we had about uh, three hundred, uh, about seven hundred and fifty something thousand views on that one. Wow. But like yeah. 20, 25, 28,000 people concurrently. Like live watching. Yeah. And like 550,000 awesome. people who watched at like one time or another. Like not all at the same time, but total. Yeah. And then like in terms of number of views, which also includes people that came back like a second time. Yeah. Um, you know, because you could be like one view, but if you if you tune in twice, you count as two views. Right. That that was the seven hundred fifty thousand number. That's amazing. Yeah. Good for you guys. That was that was a nutty one. I, can't, I still can't believe that that we got some of the people that we got to come on that dumb show. I mean, it's hard to Animal believe Talk. that you're you're even here, that, that, even at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> and and that was on Animal Talking. That was that was on... Animal Talking. Yeah, which we're still going to get you on, by the way. Yeah. And you're still doing that. Uh, yeah, it's on a it's on a little bit of a hiatus right now, but it is going to be coming back. Uh, probably in October, certainly for a big Halloween special that we're going to do. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, please keep me in mind. I'm down. Oh, absolutely. We'd love to have you. Uh, okay, Mark, are you ready? I'm ready as shit. Are you going, are you going for this, it again? This is happening. We're doing this. Jump over this guy. Yep. Nope, not yet. No, it's okay. You're timing it. Wait. Dive! You Look at you go! go! Yes! Did you make it? Yeah! Crushed it! I did. Look at this. Look at how much better I've gotten since. I'm, you've three made so much. Oh my god, you're doing better than me who cannot get. I'm telling you, I'm having the worst, absolute worst. I'm not going to qual. I didn't qual. It Fuck was an easy this qual. game. But you know who did qualify? I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely happy for him. Mark Hoppus so qualified. I am, I am having an uncharacteristically really shitty night. Mark couldn't even game. make that jump at the beginning of this stream, and now he's qualling on his own. Yeah. yeah. I'm all grown stuff. I'm, you're all grown stuff. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah. well, it's, it's been, it definitely has been a lot of growth uh, in the, just in the last couple of hours. Not only that, but just emotional and spiritual growth talking with you all. Truly. Oh yeah, I mean it's 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 it, it's 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 like spiritual nourishment like all around. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it is a complete spiritual meal. So, how bad is the air up there? In, uh, I mean, you saw you saw those pictures on TV, right? Whenever they looked like bright, like just orange nighttime. Totally. I mean, like it, actually living through that for that day was like, it, like it's, it's, I don't know the pictures could like 
could capture like how fucking nuts that was. Oh yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't so much that everything was like basically wearing orange sunglasses. It was. It was the fact that it blocked out so much sunlight that it was effectively nighttime all day. That's a. That's I mean, ridiculous. we we had every light in the house blazing like it was nighttime at like noon. Yeah. It was insane. That kind of stuff it happens up here too. It's happening there to you now. Yeah, it's not as bad as it is in California, but we Oregon's getting it. It's definitely you know in going get, in that direction. We get really yeah. bad forest fires here in the summer too. So, um, like my voice is actually pretty raspy because of the smoke outside. Like it's, it's definitely I mean, bad. <laughs> I don't know oh, if you shit. just saw what happened to me, but I just took a ride around just the just entire. But did you you qualified I, though, who right? Made it? Who made it? Who made it? I did it. I, I did, but I made an entire oh, lap yes. around the thing oh, on good. the blade. Good. I'm, there could be an eight-way four ball coming up, or eight eight man four ball. Potentially. I really want Mark to get a crown before this is me over. Me too, so much. But nothing, nothing would, nothing would please me more. I don't even care. <laughs> until I, <laughs> and until that's I, the right attitude. Until I get it, and then it's the most important thing yeah. in the world. Oh, there's nothing like it. I remember I, I I jumped for joy when I got mine. Kate was 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 thrilled when she got hers. I oh, yeah. when Amy Amy got her first crown uh, last week was was a big deal. Who's Amy? Uh, Amy Okuda, who uh, played with us last week. Oh, okay. She's an actress. She's an actress. An actor. Actor, correct. Get it right, people. You gotta it's get it tough. right. It's tough. Changing language is tough. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's so lot, important. A lot of old ingrained habits. Yeah. All right. All right. Mark, do you have any uh, causes that you're really into? Uh, any causes? Yes. Yeah, yeah, like I, charitable or you know yeah, humanitarian type stuff. My, I am. The, when I raise money, I raise money for Children's Hospital of Los Angeles because my wife uh, volunteers her time there. Nice. Okay. And I raise money for the Trevor Project. Nice. And uh, Surfrider, and then lately we've been donating to Black Black Lives Matter organizations. What is and Surfrider? That's the one I've not heard of. Surfrider. Uh, protects our oceans okay it's it was mainly started by a bunch of surfers although i don't surf but it's really about keeping our oceans clean keeping our beaches clean so uh, important normally i do a lot of scuba diving and so i love the oceans so those are the those are the organizations that uh that we give money to that's nice. awesome Kate raises a lot of money for uh, St. Jude Children's Cancer Hospital. Fantastic. Yeah. That's awesome. I, usually around April, this is the first year I haven't done it, but go and do a, a few days down at the hospital, like volunteering and uh, meeting with people and figuring out fundraising stuff for the year. Yeah. They have a whole, uh, St. Jude has a whole initiative where they like get tons of streamers doing charity stuff for them around this time of year. Oh yeah, right. Mark, raising money while streaming is so good. Yeah, that's, I mean, all the money that I make, money that I make, any money that I make uh, off of Twitch streams or donations or anything like that all goes to Children's Hospital. It's just, uh, right. I do it for I do it for fun and any any income that comes from it, I just, you know, would rather it go to helping kids. That's awesome. Nice. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Mark's Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash Mark um, I'm sure we can it's get great. links. We can get links in everybody's chat. And I'm Gary sure in my we, chat, so we can. I'm sure, we can do the shout out right now. Make sure go. you go give Mark a follow. Oh, I, 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 somebody <gasps> beat me to it. I'm so slow on the keys tonight. I just. All right, don't... well, here is an opportunity. Mark. This is the final round. It's the final round. Oh, this is a great way to go out. Can you imagine? Dare no. we dream? Do the we dream. Right just go slow. I, the dream. I, I mean, everything else aside, I'm playing against you guys, and you guys have. Like, oh, just Kate, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm fuck. Already, I've already lost. Oh, but, but Mark, Kate, Kate is the ninja. Yeah, I'm so Mark, in okay, some Mark's, amount Mark's of trouble. got the jumping technique. He's, he's maximizing his time on this level. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in I'm okay. in trouble. I gotta get back in the groove here. Yep, yep. Oh, yep, Mark, we're right next to each other. Oh, no. oh, okay, he's still up. Oh, my oh. God. Okay. okay. Uh, three layers left, I think. I'm just gonna burn. I'm just gonna burn all yeah, these Yeah, yeah, just run laps. Oh no. There's, a, oh, there's more people down on the level now. It's gonna start getting Tronny very soon here. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so you're running out. Uh, yep, no, 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 nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mark's holding his own here. There's a, some real estate oh, over oh, there. Oh shit. Oh no. 
Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, mark, mark to the bottom level. Oh, me too! Oh my god. I'm having some yeah, issues literally here. Literally no one's eliminated my yet. Jump so button, my jump button stopped working. You're gonna struggle. Okay, okay, we're back on it. Oh my god. I hate okay, this. Four, four out so far. Oh, it's over for me. Oh my god, I really... Mark, Mark is still in this. It's not actually over for me, I'm just saying that. He's, fi he's finding that real estate. Ah! Oh my god, no! Ah! So close. You you right. you were you were actually doing great as well. Like you had it down, like you knew where the path was. <sighs> you play you actually played that really well. Oh my god, my hands are so sweaty right <laughs> I now. Know, right? It's just me and one other bean. Get it, Kate. I'm trying, Mark. I don't know where they are. I, I, I can oh, see. Oh, it. it's over. It's over. Oh my god. So I missed close. that last jump. He he was out of space too. He was probably oh, about two shit. seconds behind you. Sucks. Sorry. That stupid. That was close. That was very orange, close. Shiny starred Eggman. Stupid. Look at him. Smug bastard. I know, smug stupid. bastard. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Can't believe it. Mark, apparently your Discord is having a watching party. Oh, they are? Yeah. I don't know. Fantastic. Sounds like it. I've got a bunch Man. of your Discord folks in my chat right now, actually. Thanks, Discord folks. My Discord folks are so nice. They're so awesome and. Friendly and I don't know. It's like a, it's a, it's a great bunch of people. So they keep yelling dongles at me, and I don't. <laughs> oh, so here's the deal. When I was looking for inverted controls for, uh, because I downloaded Red Dead Redemption Two, thinking I was gonna, that was gonna be my next big game. They don't have inverted controls, and then somebody in the chat was like, "Oh, you can buy this adapter," and I said, "Oh, they have a dongle for that," meaning like they have an adapter. Yeah, a dongle. A dongle, and that's what it's called. <laughs> And so a bunch of people didn't realize that was what it was called. And then so my whole thing was just spanned with dong. What's a dongle? What's dongle? A dongle. And now every time somebody logs in, people say dongle. And then they're like, I don't understand a dongle. And it sets off this whole thing. Uh, so I'm sorry that, that it's happened to you. But no, know it, that it just it's, comes from that. It's fine. I was concerned that they were saying rude things. And then I was like, no, no they're just talking about dongles, like a little, uh, like an adapter. About, yeah. And it, in my... Discord, my friend Liz put together an emote that looks like the uh, adapter for uh, an iPhone to go to a, a quarter inch jack or oh, a yeah. eight inch jack. So yeah, so we have a dongle emote in my Discord. We love dongles. That's cute. That is adorable. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Mark, thank Mark, you for thank hanging out with yeah. us tonight. Thank you totally. so much. Thanks you've for been, having you've me. Been a, is... You've been a really, really terrific guest. That was that was huge amount. Anytime you want to play Four Guys, you Just know where to find us. Let us Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Thanks know... for having me. And. Uh, and you guys are awesome. I want to be friends with you guys. Well, Let's we are. We're it. friends now. It's, it's, cool. it's too guys. Yeah, too late. That ship has sailed. <laughs> you're, you're actually just <laughs> stuck with I us. Say, I'm sorry. That ship has sailed, my friend. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and now I own Fall Guys on PS4 because of you. So. And now, okay. and now, now you can play with all manner of guests, regardless of platform. There you go. go. Congratulations. Forward. And congratulations on your win. Oh, thank you. Three crowns tonight. No, uh, two, right? Two crowns tonight. Yeah, two crowns. It's and congratulations on making the jump. I'm really proud it. of you for that, and also for touching the crown. Yeah, that was, that was cool. awesome. Yeah, that was cool. Crushed it. Awesome. Thanks for having me. All right. All right. Thank you, Mark. Bye, Mark. We'll, uh, talk soon, I'm sure. Bye. Bye. Mark Ma Hoppus. Mark friggin' Hoppus. What an absolute what a gem. What a nice man. What, what a mensch. What a nice human. Yeah. Just I like nice. that a lot. Just a ni yeah, just a super nice guy. I thought that was... Uh, uh, a really fun episode. It was, really for sure. I, I, I wasn't in the groove tonight at all. I did not have... Um, I'm going to go back over here. Uh, nope, stop that. Um, yeah, I didn't, feel, I didn't feel like I was in the groove game-wise tonight, but uh, the, the, the chatty part, the celebrity part was great. He was really fun. He's very, very sweet. Yeah, just a, just a very down... Like, you wouldn't think you were talking to like a super famous like 60, 60 million person. records. Yeah, right? 60 very million sold. Her. I like that. My kind, my kind of people. Um, um, do we want to talk about next week's show? Oh, yeah. We should do that, right? Um, because we have some exciting news about next week's show. We do. So first of all, uh, uh, we, were on the, I, we were on the front page tonight, but which I mean to say I was on the front page tonight. Next week, it's Kate's turn. I will be on the front page of Twitch next Friday. Same time next week. Same time, 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to go over to the guest announcement. Let's talk about our, our guests for next week. Our guests next week uh, is Jay Muse. Jay Muse. And DJ Jay, Knight. Jay and Silent Bob. Jay. And, and the amazing DJ Knight. Absolutely. We so have this Jay is, and DJ. 
This is going to be happening uh, next Friday night at 7 p.m. This is Friday, September 18th, both on my channel, which is going to be on the front page, uh, twitch.tv slash Kate, and also on Gary's channel, twitch.tv slash Gary Witta. This will be a fun one. Are you a Jane Silent Bob fan, uh, Kate? I have been. I'm not like a <laughs> diehard fan, but like I obviously know of all of their stuff and like Clerks is fantastic. And we With had- Smoochie Boochies, are you into all, all that kind of stuff? Um, I, I don't know what you just said to me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to brush up on your Jane Silent I Bob do. Uh, before next week. But you I mean, whole week, though. we had Kevin Smith on the show and he was we fantastic. Did. And now actually- we're completing the set. That's well, right. It's, it's to point. the point that Kevin said that he had such a good time on Animal Talking that he told Jay to come and hang out with us. That's true, and, Which, I, and I think that I think that's honestly how this began, this connection. Yeah, I think that's very wholesome that guests are having such a good no. time that they're telling their celebrity friends to come and hang out and play video games with us. It's funny, you're exactly right. I specifically remember remember now Jay DMing me saying, "Hey man, Kevin told me that I had a really good time exactly. on your show. Can you know? Can I get involved?" And I was like, "Yeah, we actually had him booked to come on Animal Talking, but you know, one thing and another, it didn't come together with the last few shows that we did." um but uh so i'm playing four guys i said what about we, what about you come on this show he's like hell yeah yeah and we're not sure if jay or dj are going to be streaming uh that's up to them and we'll find out soon so we'll tell you my all guess that is information jay will. Point. my guess is my guess is they both probably my will. guess They're is they both... probably both will but we'll be squad jay, streaming jay streams on the regular he's a legit gamer like he streams a lot and he plays a lot of games yeah um, I still don't know if he has a crown. I know that he's, I think he finally, no, he did. Cause I remember he texted me. He's like, I got a fucking crown bitch. Like he was so excited. Cause, but he, he was having an almost like Tim, the tap man type odyssey for his first crown. Right. And he finally got it. I'm sad uh, that so we I'm didn't, excited. I'm sad that we didn't get Mark a crown, but I'm really happy that Mark touched a crown and yes, I'm, I'm, figured and out like that that's jump. not the last time we're going to play together. Like no, we'll play again. For sure. I he's agree. Welcome back. And, and yeah, whether it's talk guys or just like hanging out, you know, uh, we'll, we'll play more. I'm always looking for cool people to play with and dj knight's a cool guy as well I love oh dj, DJ. knight is a gem and he's got the silkiest voice i've ever heard oh my god and he went because we had him on the animal talking uh, black lives matter special episode that we did um and he was I, I became like an instant fan i'm like where's this guy been all my life and yeah. now i check out his channel all the time yeah so two, two 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 good two 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 great tastes that taste great together jay muse uh, and friday. dj knight yeah it's gonna be good next friday uh, i'm going back over here shall we roll um, the credits do you want to raid? Do you want to figure out who we're going to raid? I think I have might have someone. It's hard to say though. Um, do you have any ideas for a raid? Um, we should raid someone, right? I don't. My mods might have find, found someone. I'm not sure. But do you want to roll credits and then figure that out? Uh, yeah, let's roll credits and then we'll figure it out. So don't go anywhere because both of us are going to raid uh, gonna do a channel. A double raid. But you know how much I love to roll these credits. Uh, you ready to go, Kate? I already start. Yep. I'll... Do you do you do you dance like like me? I mean, I you'll it? see. Yeah, I do. Okay, all right. I turn the music up. Count us in. Oh, you've already done it. Oh, okay. I did it. I'm going. I'm going. I don't dance like that. I just kind of. Well, I can do that. What is this? This is the first time I can see Carrie at the end. Oh, you've been missing out, Kate. This is premium content. This is premium content. <laughs> Oh my god. Right. That was fun. Oh, and then it